<laughs> oh, That's Roman. right. Oh, we are, are live. Okay. And we'll hopefully people can start coming watch, you know. Uh, we've been kind of lax on our streaming lately, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. Uh, welcome, folks and players. We are the Rejects. Praetor's Rejects here, ready to play a little alien RPG with these yahoos that you see oh. along the row here. Uh, Ooh, scary yes. picture. All scary, and they're scary. So uh, <laughs> that's just how this rolls. But welcome to the channel. Like I said, we're doing... Bringing a little free league publishing alien RPG back to the channel. We love it. So we've got tonight, Destroyer of the World, starting with episode one. And tomorrow night at 8.30 Central, we have Chariot of the Gods, episode one, getting started. Uh, as always, uh, I'm Duff563, uh, operator DM um, Lord Prater here on the channel. Uh, we do RPGs a few nights a week, starting some gaming up to... Across a few channels, uh, probably on Tuesday nights, maybe Fridays too, just depending on what the hell's going on. A little Minecraft, a little War Thunder, Among Us, who knows, all the silly games. Uh, we've got a podcast that someone in this group is supposed to be editing and working on, but yeah, yeah that someone <laughs> just disappeared. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dad's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, they play on Tuesday nights. Uh, you can catch it on Anchor FM, on Spotify, and Apple. Uh, we also have uh, Savage Worlds we play here on the channel from time to time. We've got East Texas University that's running a YouTube-only uh, show. They play and then stream it. I edit and throw it up, and I'm two episodes behind, so guess what I'm doing tomorrow night? Uh, after, or maybe maybe a little bit tonight. i got to edit those real and quick. And you're talking about me? Yeah, I'm, I'm behind, as always. Uh, and apparently I'm behind on the schedule on the website, too, thanks to Skeeter pointing that out. And so I'll update that all. There's Hey, we're you're the welcome. rejects. Okay, yeah. So, but that is what we do here on this channel. We don't say we're professionals, but, you know, we try our hardest. Maybe they'll let us up to the big kids' table one day. But don't count on it. Uh, let's do introductions, gentlemen. I'll start uh, on my left, going down the row. Uh, introduce yourself, who you are, where they can find you, and your character name, please, and a little bit about them, anything you just like to talk about. Uh, and we'll start with Dante. My name is Skeeter Green. I am Private First Class Ruth Dante. Uh, I kick open doors with my maybe platonic life partner uh, hammer like over there uh and we're going on a bug hunt i don't know what am i supposed to talk about you don't know what you're doing yet honestly oh, okay so, that was perfect yeah. uh -huh. so. we're playing aliens we should be dead in like 16 minutes <laughs> you're being generous i've mm -hmm. seen the movies True. I've seen wait. the game. <laughs> wait, so uh, Chaplin anyway. has the cat, so he's going to be the only one to survive this session. That's right. <laughs> no, the cat that's... is going to be the only one to survive the session. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. That's, that's fair. Right. Half of me will survive, like the top uh, half. Mason, introduce yourself. <clears throat> oh, that's me. Um, I, I'm Jeff, or known as uh, King Bashman here on Twitch and across social medias. I am playing Gunnery Sergeant Mason, um, basically the uh, senior enlisted person in charge of this group of chuckle fucks here. And uh, yeah, we got called to the principal's office. So uh, we get to swear yeah. on this stream. I'm so excited. I mean, we are chuckle fucks <laughs> after all. Mm -hmm. Chuckle fucks. That's good to know. I, no, I, I love doing that and just seeing the like look of instant regret wash over Duff's face. <laughs> Every oh, dude! Well, if you'd have showed up on time, you could have seen it for like a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, sometimes you just gotta let little things like that marinate, you know. Yep. Yeah. Let it, good call. Let it, let it. Let's do. Um, but no, uh, I've also recently uh, started getting into uh, streaming things back over on my own channel again, um, including Duff's crazy. Um, I guarantee you will die. Minecraft server and. Uh, it's fun times. That I still can't get on? Well, yeah. What do you mean you can't get on? Okay, we'll handle that after this episode, Hammer, because you and I have to have a talk. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Hammer. Hi, everyone. I am Wes, uh, also known as Static. I am playing Private Hammer 
Uh, I don't remember my first name, but who cares about first names? It's the Marines. Uh, I clearly got the wrong memo when it comes to backgrounds. But <laughs> uh, your your first name is Richard. Yeah. <laughs> red shirt. Red shirt. Um, <laughs> red shirt. Yeah. Uh, Mr. I, Dick Hammer. I just want to. <laughs> no God. Since that is my first name, I'm going to make as many of my ham the hammer as my penis jokes. Oh, I love this game. Chaplin. <laughs> my name is uh, Brian. You will. Uh, I'm again just filling space. I'm the resident internet rando that Duff dug up to uh, play the game, and uh, I am uh, on on no social media. You will not find me on any streaming platforms. Um, <laughs> Cyber hobo, the smart one I, of the group so far, I, right? Yeah, I, I barely exist. Um, I play Chaplin, the resident artificial person. He is a medic and a logistical support. Um, I am not sure if he, in fact, has a penis, um, so I can't participate in that. Um, but uh, but yeah, he uh, sometimes plays charlie chaplin by putting he's got a little pad of little charlie Ch chaplin mustaches and he will kind of balefully apply it to his upper lip uh, in order to entertain everybody i suddenly got this image of a giant ken doll walking around the ship i think i look uh, like lance hendrickson you do and you're you act just like that that android so that's what yes, everybody knows I, is. yep uh, i have okay. behavioral inhibitors yep you do Pr private yep. ruth has looked and can verify like a Ken doll. Nah. Look. Who's Kendall? Oh my god. No, Majuski. Finish this up. I, uh, I, uh, I go by Mortis G. I just recently started streaming with some guys that uh, play uh, Mutant Year Zero. You can check us out on YouTube. Ooh. Mortis G's RPGs. Um, other than that, I'm playing uh, uh, a person who no one can pronounce their, his name, so he Not just goes you. by Juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he's pretty much always angry, and everybody pisses him off. Uh, and he likes to carry around a belt. And if you uh, get out of line, he will use it on you. Uh, so, yeah, it should be interesting. Duff, did you design this character? Because it sounds a lot like you. <laughs> no, I, I love playing him, though. Dad? So, I love playing him. Okay. So, yes, we left off. We're gonna, I'll do a real recap here. Try not to sound like a broken record here, but I want to give you the what's the story, Mother, which is basically the lead up uh, of what's happening here. Um, told you, uh, you're in the outer one of the outer perimeter sectors, uh, and um, the Kruger 60 system, which is where y'all are at. Uh, there has been all the colonies, uh, you know, depending on your allegiance. To which uh, faction uh, you are part of, you are the Colonial Marines, and that's the United Americas. Uh, but this faction area, this area here where y'all are staged at, uh, is basically where the Marines are coming in into Fort Nebraska to refuel and prep as a staging ground to head up to to head out to the 61 Signi system, where the Union of Progressive Peoples have already taken over, uh, and it's basically this all has to do with about the control of oil. Go figure. Uh, one of the major, fat, you know, uses surprise, of in, surprise. you know energies used by the colonies in the areas. The you know, uh, it's just oil, uh, and um, you are what? Yeah, what's called Fort Nebraska, which was used used to be a ref oil refining station here on this frozen moon of Arrakis, and it's not it's area Eric, it's A R I A. R C U S. I'm just calling Arrakis, though we know it's not really the name, but y'all know what I'm trying to get at. Uh, and um, though uh, this used to be a thriving area at one time of over 200,000 colonists, it's now twiddled down to about 2,000. And they've abandoned this moon for greener pastures over years. And the Marine Corps is here to basically service the colony, but like they said, they've taken this over and made it a you know thriving command and control center and weapons operation platform. Um, service the colony? Yeah, service the colony. Yes, basically, uh -oh. they were they were basically coming in uh, and, you know, patrolling the areas. There were two major, you know, uh, frigates, you know, always orbiting the planet uh, on patrol. And uh, y'all came in here because, it, like I said, it was a staging ground before you were going to get shipped out. Uh, and um, 
you were then all of a sudden pulled. Uh, your company was pulled before the ship went FTL, uh, and you were down uh, in the north, you know, in the the bottom, the main level of the Fort Nebraska. You were not y'all were stationed and getting prepped in the uh, space of the what's the tethered part, upper part of the. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm forgetting the big words here. But y'all are down. Elevator. Yeah, there you go. Yes, dear. Uh-oh. Great story, Tom. Yeah, mommy, Mama Prater <laughs> walks in. When Mama Prater walks in, it all shuts down. You know how it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Hi, uh, Hi Mama right. Prater. Yeah, Mama Prater's, Mama Prater's gone. Okay. So, uh, and y'all were called in. Yes, you know of the commanding officer of the fort, uh, Colonel Myers, uh, called in. Sanders. Um, Myers. Quit it now. Um, it's the saying, chicken guy. You're saying Sanders wrong. <laughs> Come on. I hate y'all. Um, so Can I get extra biscuits with my order? <laughs> <laughs> you got to um, make sure you put that honey on them. Otherwise, man, they get real dry. Man, they just taste uh-huh. like uh-huh. <laughs> uh, One second. I just forgot something. I was trying to bring up the other two. Oh, NPCs. you're going to try to mute us all, aren't you? No, I'm not trying <laughs> to mute y'all. I'll sh- um, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to servicing the colony. Just don't kiss him on the mouth. It's true. <laughs> Chaplain, you can't service anybody. <sighs> well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Kendall, man. Ken doll. He can Who service. Is Kendall? Uh, well, he can, he service, can, he he just can do other service. things. Exactly. Uh-huh. He can do other things. He just can't. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, Silva. <laughs> yeah. So, Captain Silva, who's in charge of y'all's group. Basically, came into the barrack areas and told all you grunts to pack them and rack them and get moving out. We've got it. We're being called down to Colonel Myers' office. Uh, something's up. And y'all were kind of surprised by it because y'all were all kind of prepping and getting ready to all ship out uh, on the next freighter uh, to war, basically. And you got pulled, that was a little squad, got pulled aside. Uh, and you make your way down to. Uh, the colonel's office, but before you can get in the office, now I've shown you a map, and we're kind of, you'll see that there's a, it says colonel's office, but I'm not to scale, it's just putting you on the map, so you can kind of see where what's going on. Uh, as you're moving up, you hear some yelling, uh, and don't give a damn about what's the plan, what's going on here, I need those fuckers found. And you come around the corner, and... Standing before between you and the office to the colonel's door is, um, um, you know, you see Major Hatfield standing there. And you know Major Hatfield as part of the infamous Sin Eaters unit that has seen some real freaking action. Uh, And he is well-renowned and well-respected with the Marines and in his face, you believe yelling at him and stops when y'all come walking around the corner is Colonel Myers. Uh, and he says, just, and you hear Myers just pointing at Hatfield and go, just get the fucking job done. And he slams the door on Hatfield's face and Hatfield, you know, brings himself, you know, up, you know, his little dress down that he just got. And he turns around to see all y'all and he's got, you know, a little glitter. And, you know, you see that little twitch in his eye, you know, that he's holding his own. But he says, follow me. And he goes past y'all and he brings y'all all over to the war room area. The meeting area with some, you know, chairs and pictures of the system area here. And you can see there's some layout of this, the 61 Cygni system and some UPP bullet points where some of their factions may be located at but it all seems to be this the, the movement seems to all be headed of the UPP toward y'all in this in this the y'all system the Kruger 66 system Kruger 60 system hey yeah so he says you know he says come walks anyways for y'all to get in and he goes okay listen up Marines everything you're about to hear is need to know and no one else needs to know understood and he's looking at each and every one of y'all waiting for the nods and all that. As of 200 no, hours. About. I say yes, yes sir. Yeah, you, that sure's what I want to hear. Mm. Cut it. Sir, Cut the slack. Yes, Listen up. sir. He says, as of 200 hours, a four-man Marine squad went AWOL from this base with classified intelligence. 
Intelligence that in the wrong hands will mean life or death on the frontier. Intelligence that simply cannot fall into enemy hands. Do you hear what I'm saying? Command believes the AWOLs plan to make contact with some of the Moon's insurgents and defect to the UPP. We're looking for their, their names are Wojcik, Carvalho, Wright, and Reese. And he's going to flip out. I'll give them to you here in a second. He, he flips out four pictures of what these Yahooligans look like. Let me, uh, where are is... these the good guys or the bad guys, sir? <laughs> Motherfucker. You... <laughs> he says, these are the bad guys are AWOLs. Now listen to me. I want you to find these defectors, confirm their identities as well as any motherfuckers that they've passed information to and bring them in. We need them alive. We want to know what they know and who they could have passed this information to. For the, in, for the duration, you are Team Charlie. I will coordinate everything here from Fort Nebraska. All communications go through me on a secure channel. We're thin on leads, so either start with the spaceport, which is a total clusterfuck right now because they're sh they have basically shut down transportation from the planet up to the space elevator, up to the space elevator, to the spaceport up above. There's no flights coming in. No flights coming out. I don't know who stupidity caused this, but as of the moment, nothing's leaving the rock at all. Anything that f gets off the ground is going to be blown out of the sky. Um, I want you to find these assholes. Someone has got to have seen them either at the spaceport or at this dumbass dive bar called Oblivion. And y'all have heard of the Oblivion. It's a dive bar where everybody goes and hangs out and oh i know me and hammer know where it's yeah, at <laughs> you've heard of it you haven't been to it but you've heard of it okay and <laughs> you've seen a couple there, you've seen a couple of flyers maybe sitting in some of the barracks and all that you know uh there's a maybe a few dancers make the rounds there things like that both women and men dancers just so you know uh and he says the remember these are insurgents they're insurgents out there too we believe the upp is already on the ground here and this is just a powder keg waiting to go off. So time is of the essence. I see some of your looks, and I know that y'all, you know, you know, are cherry picked. You know, you've been cherry picked because your asses are the best at what you do. So just get her done. And one yeah, last thing, I want them. Hey. We want them alive, but deadly force, deadly force is authorized. Am I clear on this? Hey, you can survive getting your leg blown off, can't you? Sir, he goes, yeah. well, he goes, I know what you're thinking and you just need to forget that shit. These I'm bastards sorry, are not you know Marines that. any longer. <laughs> they are traitors and they are shit yourself dangerous. Your orders are to bring them in alive if you can. But if they present a clear and present threat, you goddamn shoot and you shoot to kill. I ask again, Marines, am I clear? Crystal. I Sir, can't Crystal fucking hear sir. you. Crystal. <sighs> All right. On yes, the ready, you motherfuckers. It's another glorious day in the core. Can you ask Fall in and move out. Maybe with less language. And, and I prefer <laughs> to be referred to as Charles, not Charlie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like I thought they would act like. No, no. You know. So so he basically says, fall out. So, so, yeah, Silva, you know, yes, sir. And he gives you these pictures. So you needed to see. I've got discharge papers, man. What are you going to do? Kick yeah. me out? <laughs> well, you're Please. Go, you're not going Stop anywhere. Lost your ass. <laughs> yeah. You're not going anywhere. You're discharged or discharged. Uh, so let's see. The uh, characters. Yeah, you thought. Let me. Sorry, I got to. God dang it. Um, where are the AWOLs? That's not them. I have four pictures of these some bitches. Where are they? Hey, okay. don't we have security robots? I mean, we got a medical robot over here. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know what you're asking. So I do other things too. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, well, Chaplin. Did anybody give you permission to speak? Uh, oh, well, no. there you Cha go. Chaplin's busy hanging, handing, like pouring cups of water and passing them around the table. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well so done. He, well done. Appreciate he it. Hands you. All right. So you hear. Um, 
I'm going to say, here's, Car here's, oh, shit, I'm just going to send it to all of y'all. Um, um, so, Carvalho. All right. There is. Uh, did not get the spelling of that right. <laughs> no, did not. Reese. Uh, we have. Uh, Looks like a dick. <laughs> Looks like I'll... solid snake looking motherfucker. Wojcik. <laughs> like Michael Bean. Bean. <laughs> and right. Okay. Right. Is That's who they are. Yeah. And he will. So on, they will tell you that the, let's close this down. It's a story. The, um, so they are, um, well, damn it. Where are the info sheets on these bastards? So y'all know who they are, kind of what they are a little bit. It's good I thing you prepared, Duff. I had him. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Sign of a good GM. <laughs> I am super impressed with how smooth this is going so far. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I, so. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Okay. Yep. So he's going to tell you. Here are the AWOLs. Thank you, AWOL, 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 AWOL. Okay. So we got first up was Carvalho. Uh, private first class. Um, he is um, basically a weapons specialist. Um, he, Ooh. you know, so he knows he knows his <laughs> weapons. Okay, yeah, most yeah, but you know, big surprise there. Uh, next up was Reese, who is um, Lance Corporal, uh, and he is just a general. Yeah, just dick. Lance. Yeah, just a. Uh, one of the, not one of the dicks, but you know anyone um, who walks around with a GoPro on their head is a dick. Yeah, <laughs> he's an asshole. Just, just a standard, just standard Marine. Uh, we have then Wojcik, who is sergeant, uh, and uh, is uh, you, you know probably running the you know you know basically the highest of command in this group, uh, and she's just you know another uh, general Marine. But Sergeant, and then Lance Corporal Wright, who you all look at and you see that her specialty is a sniper. Okay. And he, and he says dismissed. There is a uh, APC waiting for you out on the tarmac. You Time is limited. Make haste and get out of my face. Get the job done. And he then gives you one last thing is then he says on the readout available on the NPC, APC and all that will be big map coming your way. Oh, I we, spelled that off. We get to take a dog. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. You're in the middle. Mm -hmm. If you look at your map, you are in the middle of a little racket. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. That's where that's, Main fort, where then the space elevator goes up into the platform that's in a geosync orbit. He points out that you either can head all the way south. He told you the spaceport, which you see is at the very south end of town, or in the district south area on the way to the spaceport and all that is what's called the Oblivion Bar. And he turns Let's to go there. Silva and says, move him out. And y'all get an Let's APC, get and I have that um, here. Um, I'm going to send it all to each of you. You should get a pop-up. Let me know. I'm sending y'all a, a, a um, info. Mm -hmm. Are y'all getting it? Is there? Are y'all mm -hmm. getting the pop-up? Okay. Oh, for the APC? For the APC, yeah. So mark it yep. down in your... Grab the the little alien figure in the left corner up there and drag it down to one of your hot bar spots down on fancy grounds. And that way, it'll, if you close it, all you got to do is hit the function key and it'll bring it back up for you. Yeah. Someone has to drive it. Okay. Someone has to, y'all have to determine as a squad what's going on here. And so right now I turned, you know, we talked about is the <clears throat> most level head of y'all since Silva is kind of a, he's the leader of the group, but I'm not going to play him. You've got Silva and then Iona, who's just a regular space Marine. Um, we look the chaplain, or y'all have to kind of decide who's going to call the order, so to speak. 
you know, of this hothead group. But sometimes this, you know, you know, you need to know what the stats are for the APC. If you know something takes place, but it has to be driven. You have a, you know, it, you know, you know what it looks like, in its layout. Uh, you've got seat areas. You've got weapons racks. Uh, it does, if you remember, um, it has. Um, where is the APC? You remember that it looks something like this. Okay. Right. Yep. It, it has, yes, it has it's a, a yeah, it has a 20 millimeter Gatlin gun on the front and a phase plasma pulse cannon turret. And <laughs> so they can be fired by individuals who are manning them. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Just so you know. I want one of those. <laughs> y'all are y'all are giving an old you know, it, it still functions. It ain't top of the line, but it works. <laughs> like anything military is. Yeah, it, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And y'all find yourselves headed. You're pulling out of the hangar bay area, going down a ramp, headed toward the gates, which are opening up for you. And before we get in the car, the uh, vehicle, what are we doing? Me and, me and Dante are gonna rush in for which who gets which gun. Oh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna defer. I'm gonna let you take your pick because I am fine and dandy with either one. <laughs> Ch Chaplin as... wonders if the if the the moon if they're drilling for oil here does that mean there were space dinosaurs? Could be. <gasps> yep. Spell jam. You got all you got all pipelines everywhere. You know there's Don't throw science there, into there this are problem. there is a refining for several facilities. The oil fields to the north, um, you know. But you also know as you kind of move as you you're slowly pulling out. You know there's what was like I said two hundred thousand people living here. There's down less to two thousand. So there's trash Ooh. blowing everywhere. Don't forget this also is sub zero weather. So it is very cold outside. Close to uh, hometown. Yep and. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to be caught out in the cold for too long, or it's, you know, oops, death. All right, Chaplin's driving. Chaplin's driving. Anybody got a better piloting than me? It's a negative right here. No. <laughs> I don't even know what your piloting is, and I'm going to go with no. The big two. Ooh. Better, 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 better. All right, Gunner, you got the wheel. Assume your agility's up and, there too, isn't it? Yeah, and as y'all are pulling out, yeah. you hear, you, you can hear and feel rumbling, and you can see kind of up out of the windows the last of the frigates that y'all were supposed to be boarding on and on. Y'all see pull or have pulled away from the platform up above and have taken. They are basically <sighs> headed to war, and y'all have been left here. God damn it! That was my boat. <sighs> I was supposed to be on that boat yesterday. It's just like that classic movie with that Macaulay Culkin kid. Oh, that yeah. would be Home Alone. Except none of you no, bitches I don't are think coming that's right. back from me. Well, none of us are home nor alone. It's true. Where are we headed? All right. What's the plan? Let's do this. Bar. Yeah, well, I guess we're heading for the Oblivion Bar. Headed let's get, to let's get drunk. Yes, I guess we're heading south. Shit faced. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, where is the oblivion? All right. I've been trying killing someone in a bar in a long time. <sighs> Who said anything about killing? I, I mean, did. just playing devil's advocate, suppose we don't go after these yahoos and we just end up like not going back. And we become weirdly the owners of this oblivion bar. <laughs> and that's our lives now. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Marinate do I, on it. Do I get free drinks out of this this plan? Well, if when we own it, I think that would just be fair. <laughs> then I'm in. <laughs> I don't think that would be a wise business venture considering the decline in the population. Oh, it, it's all about advertising. <laughs> hey, man, the toaster is talking shit again. We need we had a good plan going that. Don't forget, 
Our mission is to find AWOL Marines. What do you think is going to happen if you just bail on the mission? I don't know. Somebody else finds them? They're going to send another squad that wants to open up a bar? (laughs) No, they're going to send a squad to find and kill you. Mm. Mm. Nah. I don't think so. (laughs) This lovely banter is pursued as they drive on. Chaplain, you're making your... I'm assuming, Chaplain, you have turned the APC toward the Eye of Oblivion. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, so y'all moving along. Yeah, through the town... Through... Uh, headed south through Arrakis and most of the buildings you see are shambles. Uh, mo- they're a good bit of them are second story. Uh, and as y'all are getting closer, watching the map and the AC is moving along and you begin to see yes, a glowing blue haze coming from, you know, where you're headed to. And as you get closer to it, yes, you see a large blue neon winking eye with a red crescent moon at its center uh, mm-hmm. as what you believe is the uh, oblivion. Uh, and it is, looks like it is, you see a couple people coming in and out of it, uh, you know, staggering in and out. You hear the, unts, 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 you know, oh my God. So, noise as, yeah. So it's a retro bar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're playing the oldies. <laughs> yep. All right, and you pull up to it. God, he's so yeah. Chaplin park, the parks the APC, and he says, "He gets up. And he says, remember where we parked?'" <laughs> You're right up front. Probably smashed a few. There's even a car or two there that probably hasn't moved in a while. And you just kind of smashed just into it. You know? over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dante says he looks at the five of y'all, and he says, "Make it quit work. I want even spacing." Watch your flanks. Dante uh, is me. Yeah. Well, I no, I'm not Dante. Silva. Silva. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And I just noticed that I've got Majewski off a little bit here. Majewski. No, nope, that's not. Juice. His window is off a little. And I don't like that. There we go. Don't do that. Yes, I, I am outraged. I am because I don't like I, my. I can't. I can't play this overlays. game anymore. I can't. Okay. Quit. Yeah, I quit. Okay, so you pull up, and he basically tells you, gives you orders. Move out, find some answers, see what's going on in there. Be careful, though, uh, and bring me some answers. And Do I drink all in there, too? Piece of, okay, he knows better. He says, can it, Marine? Do your fucking job. Go. Oh, and, language. Yep. And all he opens, right. He pops the door. dad gets mad. <laughs> dad. Let's go. Oh my god, I knew this gonna, was gonna be. We're gonna this, bring him a beer just to calm him down. Gonna gonna be, make him feel better. All right, here we go. Now I'm bringing y'all. Would we have to, data pads with their pictures on them? Yes, you, yeah, you can have them. Yeah, most certainly. Who they look like. Yep, don't have a problem with that. Uh, Juice goes in and just starts well, going on. right up the tables and, hey, have you seen these people? <laughs> just oh shit, man. Somebody's gonna rude. get the belt. <laughs> Okay, so we got a bar. Okay, and let me switch our overlays to our bar. Look at that, folks. We are high. We're so high tech. Here. Is that not? Is that it's not like cool? like we're playing a sci-fi game. I know, man. It is uncanny how good I am sometimes. Well, uh, let's not go too far. Yeah. And that we start at a tavern. Okay. What yeah. you see in Some here. Things never change. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you open the doors. Yes, you're accosted by the base. And smoke is, you know, just billowing out of there, you know. Uh, um, you know, and you've my got. My used to love this song. Crimson and azure strobes are burning, you know, just blasting, you know, out of the air, out of the room. And, you know, your eyes sting as you kind of, you know, get hit by the lights. Uh, halos kind of, you know ghost everything around every you know on your retinas as you're kind of looking in and seeing you know the lights flashing through the smoke that's in here you see what looks like a s kind of a bar that kind of s's through the middle of it uh and uh you will notice that there are some dancers strutting their stuff on the bar both male and female um this place is packed 
looks like locals and you know not uh, yet people him and, no no and, put it away know, put it away lots of people sitting there um but that's what you see at the bar um and does anybody shit themselves when five heavily armored marines come in I uh, well i'm letting y'all so you can let me i'll move i'm gonna unlock tokens do not go back shit crazy but i know already know that's not gonna happen because this is yeah so you can move up okay well it's it's four heavily armed marines and a one guy carrying yeah that's like, right actually yeah the chief carrying guy. a cat <laughs> <laughs> now is okay and uh mason what are you doing luggage okay as you move in and hammer just kind of boldly strolls up to the bar um, people start giving you the looks. Yeah, everybody kind of stops, you know, what they're doing to see y'all move, walk in. Uh, most of them just kind of, people that are standing there moving through y'all's area just kind of shy away from you, pull back. You see a few people going, oh, shit, you know, and start hiding your things, you know, in their coat pockets or, you know, <laughs> stowing them on the ground, you know. Uh, you get a few uh, from different areas giving you the evil eye stare. Um, and... Yep. That's what you see. But it's pretty packed, though. So is there a person on duty in the cloakroom? Uh, yes, yeah, a little, yeah, young, a young female. All right, I'll start with her and just flipping the, the pictures. Have you seen any of these Marines? No, I don't know. I, no, I mean, how many people come through here? I don't pay attention to faces. What? Uh, he, he grumbles and growls, but it's ready to move on in further into the into the bar yes yeah, chaplain's gonna check go, the restrooms go talk to the boss i like you have to pee chaplain go talk I'm to Faye. Go, i'm gonna go talk to fay i'm gonna watch the door when chaplain goes into the restrooms is Walk that what in. she tells me is to say go talk to fay go talk to fay all right where's fay she's the owner she's behind the bar okay all right uh, and you got it, and you're kind of almost yelling because it's so loud. The the din, of not only music but people talking. There was a quietness, a kind of a calm bit moment, you know, when y'all walked in, but it kind of started picking back up, and people just shifting around, you know, can be just that record scratch. Yeah, I was going to say that yeah. classic record scratch. <laughs> no, it didn't scratch. Yeah, you know, no classic record, but yeah, it was like you know, it popped for a second, you know, or it got stuck on a spot, ding, ding, mm -hmm. ding, ding, you know, and he had to go over and thump the needle. Uh, you got more it's people a regular kind of, Millie Vanilli in the moment. You know, walking, <laughs> they walk past you and they kind of stare at you over their shoulders as they walk by. Uh, you walk into the bathrooms. It looks like they haven't been cleaned in ages. Uh, puke everywhere, piss everywhere. That tracks. Yeah, you know. Are they, uh, they, but they're, they're empty. empty. There's nobody in there. No, at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, by, by the time you get to the bar juice, Hammer is already three sheets to the wind. I'm going to say, what's Hammer I strolled up to the bar, just ran right on up there, right? As that Hammer went first. Yeah, Hammer, what were you trying to accomplish as you strolled right up to the bar? I'm trying to accomplish how much alcohol can I fit in at one time. I'm going to grab the bartender. I'm going to flag them over. And I'm going to ask, first, I'm going to ask if they've seen these people. Well, you, you flag him, but nobody comes right to you for the moment. They're... <clears throat> It, right, I pulled my gun. I shoot the ceiling. No, that's good. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. You moved up there. You've got uh, about nine dancers are moving back and forth on the bar. People kind of watch them. When you strolled up to the bar, there was probably, there was like two or three people at that, that location right where you're at. They got up of their drinks and took them down to the other end of the bar over here. Just mm -hmm. grabbed their drinks and walked, you know, kind of over here to some chairs away from you. So you're just kind of sitting by yourself. How many people are at the bar? Not near me. I'd say about seven, about seven more people. They all just kind of basically give you, they give you wide open berth and just kind of, you know, whatever you've got a, you know, a couple evil stairs and kind of, the dancers, kind of dancers looking at just, you know, a little lot. You've got it right in front of you. This is uh, it's a woman. She's kind of staring at you. She's albino, you know, very pale, white, everything. And she just kind of looks at you and then kind of, <laughs> and it's kind of starting to turn from you, walk to walk Oops. away. How do you, how do you tip in aliens? Well, you've got, you have colonial, you have UA money. Is it you physical know, money? Yeah, there's physical money. And the, yes, there's, there's all in the, in the quadrants and the colonies and all, there's probably as many, 
factions are their own version of money, you know? So, hey, there's multiple currencies floating around. I'm going to pull out the, the smallest denominational coin I have and just chuck it at the <laughs> dancer. She hits it and just... Fuck off. I uh, just like home. Okay. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Chaplin, what are y'all doing in the back? Dante. Uh, I'm waiting to, I'm waiting for people to Dante to move so I can leave the bathroom area. <laughs> He's like standing in front of the door and I'm yeah. I'm just right. I'm knocking. Dante. Dante. She's holding Dante. the door shut. I was holding the door. Dante. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I want to I want to take a look is anybody that I can see from where I'm at once hammer and juice got up to the bar is anybody look like they're overly intent do I get the plotting vibe from any of the maybe groups an, maybe an observation roll oh lord <laughs> you got this there's a success. Oh, damn. I see a success, but why didn't it register, though? <clears throat> uh, because it's stupid. Uh, it's, it, was, it was waiting. You got a success. I'll be wow. damn. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, uh, most of them uh, are, you know, we're giving you the evil eye. You can, right. You're hearing a fucking Marine shut everything down. I just fucking want to leave this rock. You know, who gives them the right to roll around here and tell us, you know, you know, and I said, I just want to go home. I just want to, you know, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Um, but over in um, the corner area, um, well, yeah, I'll say you probably moved. Dante, you'll have, I'm going to give you a little bit more room because your role was kind of okay. good. But over here, you going to see two guys that uh, are... <laughs> Um, looking at you and they both kind of, you know, stared at y'all watching your companions go up to the bar and you see around and you lock eyes with them <clears throat> and they both kind of stare at you and then they just kind of grab their drink, you know, their long necks and they're kind of they just kind of put their heads back together and just sit there. And one of them's kind of, one of them's got his back to you and he's not staring at you. He, he's turned his head back around. But his partner, who's looking at you, kind of holding his beer, and every now and then you kind of see him look over, and he, he's just kind of watching you. He kind of so tilts subtle. his head a little bit from side to side. Yeah, it occurs to me that we didn't bother to secure the, the back entrance. Uh, I don't think we know about the back entrance. Well, you we can see have, you can see the door, console. and you can see that there is this um, uh, there is a female individual that's kind of looks like she, you know. Uh, uh, she's got a couple of bar hands and a couple of other bartenders around her, but she's kind of barking orders at them. And you can kind of see that there is somebody managing the bar back behind there and sl helping to sling drinks as all this is going on. And y'all are sitting there and busting, I mean, coming from the entrance, all of a sudden you're sitting there, you hear, I don't give a shit. And this woman comes back banging through the door and slams right into the back of Mason. Just bowling through. <laughs> you and motherfucker. She's like, get the fuck out of my way, jarhead. There's all the fucking reason I can't get off this goddamn rock. Punch Just get the, the fuck out of here. She's slinging. You know. Well, I have to roll to, to do a butt strike. <laughs> you, that's a close combat if you, that's what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ba bam. <laughs> you just, what the fuck? You never sneak up on a fucking marine, goddamn it. You you hit her. <laughs> cold cock her out. Half the bar stands up looking at you. You see a couple bottles break. You see a couple people reaching behind their jackets. Boy. And they're staring at you, Mason. I am very loudly going to say, nah, fam, we ain't going to do this. And put the rocket launcher on my shoulder. <laughs> you brought it in with you? 
Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't travel light. Like, no, 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 no. It does not need to happen like this, people. <sighs> Do we have a problem? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, you guys got a problem, and it's standing right here. We don't need a bigger problem. Everybody sit down. Put your beers oh down. The next round is on the Colonial Marines. What do you think of that? Oh, that's awesome. Oh. We can expense this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to sign my name. Well, you're yelling this. Now, you're, so you got to remember, you're yelling this over loud music yep. uh, and talking and all that. You're not getting much in the way of response, Dante. There, more of them are standing up. Uh, Where's the DJ booth? Uh, there is. You don't see one. So I can't see, tell where the music is coming from. It's a speak. Yeah, there's just, there's multiple speakers all through the area. Yeah. Okay. And, and multiple um, I locations. I assume we all have comms and can communicate, right? So he can let to us know some what's degree. Going down. Yeah, to some degree. And you hear Silva in there. He's fucking just screaming, going, "Get a control of this shit. Get a control of this shit now." The last thing we needed was a fight breaking out. He goes, okay. can your fucking, you know, machismo shit and get some answers. I didn't say go in there and kill people. You said get answers. You you didn't say don't kill people. Do the right thing or I will fucking calm your ass out of this unit. And you okay, can stay so here. Okay, so I've still got the rocket launcher <laughs> on my shoulder. I will sort of point it down and do one of these. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down as you're doing all this and do you see this female and she's kind of is she she sultry moves towards y'all toward that bar where you're at you know and she is you know she's a looker but you also and also can tell with her look and all that she's a synthetic and she's what's known as a pleasure model Damn. okay not a and candle. she just she kind of looks at it and she goes fucking marines man don't y'all ever fucking learn you know talk before you do anything and she says what the fuck are y'all doing in here this is the last place y'all need to be with everything that's going on in the spaceport y'all are y'all it's the marines that shut this down what the hell are y'all doing in my bar Wait, okay say, so so who is the troublemaker in our group who, who all of it? you well no not <laughs> what so who did the butt punch that was mason oh it's mason it. mason did okay who well, the hell's in charge of this group he just barge into a public place who the fuck are y'all what do you want oh man that skinny dude over by the shitter door he's the one in charge <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, I'm she's like, people, Frank people, has are, this privilege there, chat. people, people are looking I'm, at her, looking at y'all. And she just kind of, she just kind of holds her hands up a little bit. And she goes, uh, she yells out what you said. She goes, a, a round is on yeah, the house. Cool. Yeah, we got well, this hey, one. Hey, we got you, this one. I know how much money you Marines make. You ain't got shit. What do y'all, <laughs> you know? Okay. And she says, you don't you want to talk? Come over here to the other side of the bar. And she goes, and she looks to the bartender, starts spilling out some drinks to everybody and calm this shit down. And she comes over here to the west side of the S of the bar. <clears throat> just kind of leans up against the wall, uh, our hands on top of the bar there, waiting for y'all. Like, okay. Can I get a Jack and Coke, please? <clears throat> I'm going to kill y'all first session, I can tell already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just I lean over it and ask one of the girls that's dancing, is that Faye? Yeah, that's Faye. And she runs the joint. And a couple of people come over and they pick up this cocked woman that's on the ground and they, they're yelling, Captain, you okay? Captain, Captain. No, uh, she's just knocked out. And she goes, Bring her over here, we'll get some water, or get her another drink, maybe she'll wake up. <laughs> Good booty bounce. Captain? Uh, yeah, captain? it's a captain. Yes. It was. Captain of what? Well, you don't captain know that. You're at the bar. Leave. Dante, where I, are you I at? I'm not. I'm over here. 
Well, they're uh, they're by Mason, Mason oh, okay. and Mason Chapel, because that's I'm, where Mason I'm, knocked out the captain. I'm slowly floating my way uh, this direction. All right, you, so you're having to push through a few people. Okay, they yeah. don't quite k- kindly make that. I don't give a shit. You got a rocket launcher, you know. Uh, they that's a no- bold move. They well, they figure <laughs> numbers are on their side because they, you know, you may get it off, but you know, the, you know, you you know, you might get taken out in the process too. But they they, they, slow, they slowly bullets. start port. They slowly start, you know, parting the Red Sea for you a little bit. Everybody's kind of looking at you. What the fuck, you know, Marine spitting on the ground. Most kind of just turn back, talking themselves. You know, taking shots, drinking their beers, whatever they may have in their hand. Yeah, as you're making your way that way. Uh, The two individuals that you looked at, they just kind of go back to talking to themselves. I'm going to come to uh, Dante and say, do you need any backup? Well, Dante's over. He's he's over over on the right-hand side. You're in the wrong spot. Oh, you calmed him. Oh, you calmed him. I'm sorry. Sorry, my bad. Pay attention. Yeah, no, I'm going to scream chat. over the music. Yep. Hey, Dante. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this this could get fuzzy real fast. So uh, just keep an eye out. Okay. Seeing Chaplin head over to the group and realizing Dante's not over there, I'm going to head over here and try to uh, <clears throat> reconvene with the Marine. I'm going to kind of stand here and have my hand on my, my, my weapon watching what's happening. Hey, this isn't private time, man. Pay attention to your job. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll put my hand on my gun then. There you go. (laughs) Uh, Oh, my God. Oh, you're moving right toward... Boy, you're nothing but subtle, Dante. (laughs) God damn it, Dante. What the fuck are you doing? Please tell me Dante makes that noise as she's walking over. Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh, <all the time. laughs> oh my gosh. So all right. Um okay, so uh so Dante's making his way downtown. Uh Hammer, what are you doing? Her way. Hammer, you calmed him and said he said yep. he, Okay, but you're just standing at the bar. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes on her and making sure she's safe. Yep. Yep. And you watch the rest of the crowd and most everybody else, they're still, you know, leering at you over their shoulders and all that. Uh, but they're grabbing drinks, you know, free drinks, man. And most of the people you can tell are locals, you know, uh, stuck here. You're hearing kind of overhead talk, you know, sooner or later we'll get the fuck off this rock. You know, this isn't the place it used to be. What the hell's happened to our, you know, our lovely, our community, um, things like that. Chaplin, what are you doing? Uh, Chaplin is, uh, I'm going to start, uh, I, got, I imagine I have copies of the picture. I'm just going to work the crowd oh, in my, you all have them. I'll yeah. I'm just going to work. All. I'm just going to start, uh, asking people, you know, pr- you know, I'm not armed. I'm, I'm just a dude. Hey, maybe you've seen this person. Uh, no, I fucking, ha- I, you know, most of us now, I don't know. I never seen him before. Don't know. Uh, fucking Marine. I don't fucking deal with Marines, you know, or whatever. You know, most of them just kind of look at you, <laughs> take a sip of their drink, and go back to talking who they are. Okay. You know, give a shit about what you're me. asking. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Juski, what are you doing? I'm going to talk to Faye uh, and just say, apologize for my uh, companions. Uh, we're it, here trying man. to do a job, and they're a little overzealous. Job? Um, what job's that? It brings you to the oblivion. Well, we're looking for these these four people here. And I'll kind of scroll through the pictures. She, um, looking for them. Well, they're, I don't see them here. Do you see them here? Have they been here? Not, I don't, I haven't seen them. Make me a observation do roll, I, Juski. Yeah, do I feel like maybe she's I made an observation there? roll. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open up my copy of the book. Some of this stuff I can't figure out. Remember? Uh, it's not Success. remembering, but it is. But it's remembering. It is much more detailed than Cherry of the Gods. Uh, mm-hmm. 56. Because there's something that she. I want to make sure I don't leave anything out. Okay. Uh. Uh, 
Um, she, uh, uh, if she's trying to manipulate and hide something, I would yeah. have to actually go so manipulation she, and manipulation. Yeah, she, well, no, you're, uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm not uh, strict on that. You see, um, she, her eyes, she does, her eyes kind of light up a little bit, you know, even for, uh, uh, a synthetic, uh, okay. and she, uh, uh she looks at you and she goes, not here. And she flips open right in front of her where she's standing across from you is a little opening for the bar. Mm -hmm. And right. she flips it up and says, in my office. And she just casually, just not, you know, making any sudden movements and all that, just walks to the doors right, you know, over here and goes around the corner. Somebody's I will cautiously... got a girlfriend. <laughs> cautiously move that way. <laughs> hey, here, get rid of this damn pointer. Okay, yeah, you you uh, you see as you kind of move toward it, you can see it's it's you know filth. There's ground, you know, stuff on the ground, and you see open bottles, and you see our stacks of bottles, you know, supplies and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you make your way. Uh, and it's a small room behind the bar. It's a you know, dingy office. There's a large desk and a couple chairs. And she just kind of nonchalantly kind of leans up against the desk and all that and lights a cigarette. I'm going to comms to Juice. Uh, make sure you hang a tie on the door. Okay. okay. And she goes, what? She goes, maybe I do know them. What's it to you? Well, we've been asked to bring him, bring him back to command. I don't know why. Don't have any, any information other than we've been tasked to bring them back to command. Uh, she goes, I, yeah, I kind of recognize that they were here last night. I recognize okay. them because they got one of them got a little rowdy, and they were okay. they were yelling at each other a lot. What Remember else? Remember anything of the conversation? Well, no, they were just yelling. They were, you know, over the music. You think I listen to what the shit's going on in this place? You're crazy. Oh, I figure you listen to everything that happens in your place. <laughs> Not everything. I know what's who's coming in and out of here. And I know they were Marines the way they were dressed. Uh, but they were getting, they were few, they were yelling at each other, uh, agitated. Um, they then met a, I think, if I remember correctly, it was a short, balding man. I didn't recognize him. Uh, and then he left and they all got in an argument again and all of them left separately, which I found kind of odd, except for one of them. Uh, he stayed around a little bit longer, got shit faced. Uh, and then as you know, you know, they kind of got belligerent with a couple of my, a couple of, uh, you know, space I'll jockeys slide, that were here. Slide through, yeah, I'll and, slide through the pictures. Which one was the one that got wasted? Uh, she'll slide through there and say it was, I believe it's Reese. I believe Reese is the one that got, that stayed last. And, uh, let me, let me tell you, um, where they are. Okay. Reese. Yeah. He got shit face drunk. Uh, and then got in a fight with a couple of space jockeys, uh, and, uh, tried to leave before, um, the, um, marshals got here, but I think they got him out. I think they got him outside. Oh, okay. He tried to run off, you know, but he was, you know, three sheets <clears> of the wind slammed into the wall and the door going his way out and uh, doubled over. I think he hit his, I think he knocked the wind out of him because he doubled over in pain and then got up and started running off with the marshals pulled up. I think, I think they got him outside. He goes, I, I might have some footage of it here on the cameras. Maybe. That would be great if you didn't care to share that. Uh you, but I'm sharing it, but then you, I'll show you this, get your, get you and your crew out of here before this goes crazy here. We don't, I don't need my bar blown up. Get your crew out of right. here. If you're going to, if I we'll, show you we'll this. We'll get on down the road. I okay. appreciate your help. And 
yeah, you see uh, she's got some security cameras. You can see her rotating through areas, but you didn't see them when you walked into the bar. You know, you didn't see any cameras up in there, but you can definitely see there are cameras, you know, in the structure here. Uh, Ninja she, cameras. She basically pulls up a few things and you see a lock, you know, big old safe behind her, you know, that probably keeps stuff in. And she pulls up a couple of images and, you know, some footage from the night before. And I think here it is. And she lets you watch it. Uh, and the Marines move in and they're on the, they're on the exact opposite end of the bar in a corner, you know, and they're all talking and they, they have a couple of drinks and then it, but it's shitty quality because of the smoke and the lights and all that, you know, so you really can't see, but you could kind of make out their figures and who they are based on the pictures. And then you see this, yeah, this typical short, surveillance cameras. Pretty much, they're like 4K high def, but they yeah. can never see anything. That's right. Okay. <laughs> that, well, they probably haven't been cleaned ever. You know, with all the gunk and shit. You know, it's happening here. Um, but uh, you can then see this. Yeah, the short balding man comes up, and they all kind of get. You know, they put their drinks down, and they're listening, and they're pointing at each other. And he's like going. You know, he's looking at. He's like he's like he's looking at a watch and all that. And then he gives them, you know, he's, he, he points at a few things and his watch and then he strolls off and the, uh, um, uh, then the, the, the four of them are looking at each other and they start talking and like they're going to follow him. And one pulls one back down, like they, some were going to follow this guy out of the bar and they pull each, they pull the other two, pull them down and they're yelling. And one slams a bottle and breaks it and gets up and walk and slowly they get up and walk off one at a time after yelling at each other about what's going on. You know, you don't know about what though. And then this last one, it's kind of sits there and he's, he grabs all their drinks you know, and he starts downing them and it looks like he has a couple of more. And then he just slams what he's money on the ground. The waitress is like fucking a, you know, she can tell she's had enough of it, of a jar head. And then he gets up and you don't see the fight, but it looks like it probably had, it probably, I think she said it happens right outside the door area, you know, and then I'll be making sure that my shoulder cam is getting this also. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. You hear, and you hear Silva. Going good, good. Give me another, yeah. Give me a tie it up. See if we can, you know, get a better shot on the video. It says I'll see if I can clean it up or not. You know, maybe we can, maybe I can augment into the uh, system while you're doing all that and see if I can pull any more from it. Uh, so he's doing that. You know, you hear him typing on key. You know, listening to it all. Good, good. All right. He goes. Is there anything to ask her? Is there anything else that she needs to remember or just happens to remember that she's leaving out? Is there anything else that you can do to help us with this? Um, just get your crew out of here and okay. get them, make them because this is, you know, there's wars coming. That. And she goes, that. if you knew war was, you know, thinking war was coming, it's already here. So I, I respect that. Dramatic. Would I by chance have the equivalent of a C note on me? Sure. Well, uh, I you, I don't know about if it's a, a full C note. You might have a, yeah, a couple of fives on you. <laughs> okay, not you wouldn't even have a fifty. I, you a 50 I, you or can if you want. To, that's fine. You know, if you're gonna flip her the money, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. just I'm just gonna tip her, say thank you so much, and tip my hat or my helmet kind of thing, and edge out, and I'll start heading towards the uh, entrance and trying to locate okay. where everybody's at. Okay, well that's happening. We got Dante and Mason over here. So Dante, you have been making your way. Uh, downtown, downtown and you get over there to where these two yahoos were kind of, you know, they were giving the eye and they basically are doing everything they can not to look at you. Right. I, I'm going to go over and pull up a chair directly opposite both of them and say, you boys want to buy me and my girlfriend a drink? <laughs> no, no, man. We're, they're good, man. We were just finishing up ours and they, you see them go, you know, and then slam down the drinks. We got to get back. Come on. We got to get back to the spaceport. I, get off this rock. But, you know, you, I know you uh, caught my eye. Try again. Yeah. And they, I know I caught your eye. You gave me the eye from across the bar. Let's <clears> talk. <throat> have another beer. I'll buy this round. No, nah, man. We're good. We're good, man. Eye. Don't worry about it, man. No, no, we're no, good. No, no. We what, appreciate what, it. What spaceport are you heading to to get off this rock considering they're all shut down? 
Try well, again. We, we don't know. We maybe they're gonna let stuff off now. You don't know nah. that. Who made you boss? Nah. Come on, it's cool. I'm sure the rank too. that I have. I, I just got my discharge papers. I'm just trying to have a good <laughs> time. Enjoy them. We're gonna get up and they both leave, you know, they're both leave standing up from the table and giving a wide berth, trying to get a, around you to head out, you know. That's radio okay, man. To, uh, We're okay. good. As soon as they get up, I radio to the rest of the crew. It's like we got a couple of uh, suspicious ones heading for the front door. I'll also say I've gotten uh, some video of the the four. They were here last night, and uh, they met someone. We've got the the video downloaded to the APC. <clears throat> and then I'll radio to Silva. The A cap. We got a couple of uh, suspicious ones heading towards the door. Be advised. I want, he goes, unless you, you know, got anything, I, we can't hold them. We don't have authority. We're not the marshals here. The marshals have to take them in. I just get good pictures of them. Uh, yeah, unless, Roger that, Cap. Just giving yeah. you a heads up. God yeah. Damn. Goddamn <laughs> officers. Always got to criticize every fucking thing you say. So. We're not the law Christ. here. So, but he says, with, get your ass back here, Majewski. I want it. Yeah. Good job on getting some information. It looks like we need to head to. The marshal's office. If yeah, they still they got this still Yahoo. Have him, one of them in, in custody. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Marines, pack it up. Let's get back in the APC and roll out. We're not. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Ten four. Uh, hey, Marines, you heard the orders. Let's go. Did he say we're not the law? Because I thought we were Marines, and technically we are the law. No, you're not the law. And the, you know, no, there is a marshal. There is a law force here. Are there any other beers on the table? That they left. <laughs> uh, make me a Dante. Oh, they yeah, they're no, they're not theirs. They drank theirs. They're bone yeah, dry. Yeah, they drank theirs. Yeah, but, like were there any other set up? Make for make me a. Well, let's just see how good you're on your rolls. Make me a survival roll. I would say I'll, I'll Na- maybe maybe, uh, maybe, maybe a wits. No, you can make me a wits roll. You can make me a wits roll because you've got. Something can I help? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Double success. <laughs> Two successes. And a stunt. In a stunt. Yes. So, but this is just a yeah, regular yeah. roll. So, yeah, you find a couple. You actually, two beers are sitting there that they actually ordered that they didn't touch, you know. Uh, I and, snapped those up and put yeah. them in my flak jacket. Well, they're <laughs> All open. Right. They're open. I don't we, care. So We, okay. get, we got okay. canteen. I said stunt what okay. I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, chaplain or uh, uh, hammer, anything mm. for what y'all are? Yeah, I'm, I'm just working the crowd, but not getting any response. You're, you're not getting any response, and most, but you know, they're, they're a little bit they they're blown off to you. You know, uh, you make it past the captain that got cold cocked out, you know, and she's groggy too, <laughs> you know, and you know, um, you know. It's just to kind of get off this fucking spaceport, you know, I'm off this space rock now. They fucking won't let my ship leave. Um, uh, Chaplin has an idea. He puts he puts one of the Charlie Chaplin stickers on his upper lip. <laughs> tries to, and he, uh, so, so the, the, you know, he, uh, he decides to show the pictures to the person that got cold cocked. Have you? seen any of these people i see she uh, she's kind of staring me she can't she's having problems making focus because of the oh, butt to the face a, okay you know and so yeah. bishop, <laughs> bishop takes out his med kit he whips yeah. his little uh, light in her eyes you're not bishop says, you're not bishop chaplain uh, that's what i said did i say bishop you yeah, said you bishop did. man <laughs> That's a chaplain. That's a chaplain. Uh, he's got dissociative personality yeah. disorder. Uh, apparently, okay, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so chaplain takes out his little his little light pen and he, you know, he's he's like trying to try to treat her. You know, so let me let me see. Let me see. Yeah, well, she get a hand and everything. You know, she's like, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> you know, she's got she's probably missing God a damn, tooth. Goddamn, chaplain, you know? that's a laser pointer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my eyes. <laughs> Man, what the he hell says, is wrong with you? Yeah. He says, no, no, I'm I'm a trained medic, also a bit of a comedian, as yeah. you can see by my Charlie Chaplin okay. mustache. Yeah. Name is Chaplin. Yep, and you know, pack. Right. She, you know, she, she swiping her hand, and oh, I said, "This smoke," and she reaches in, and you you can see she pulls up and like you know her, her coat jacket there, <laughs> and you see uh, she got a flask. You know, it's sitting in her uh, her uh, 
in her side of her pocket and then there's a pack of Imperial cigs, you know, and she tries, she's trying to grab one, you know, and first one she pulls out and she sticks the wrong end into her mouth, you know, and you know, and then they're trying to grab it and she says, get out of my face, man. Just try to have a chance. Hate, hate to see yeah. it. Some girls are a mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And the other two, her, you know, her companions are like, just leave, just, just leave her alone. Hey, okay. we've had enough of this Jeff. fucking planet. So Jefflet heads for the door. <laughs> uh, hammer. I'm going to, since I'm assuming I've been sitting here doing this the whole time and not gotten service, I'm kind of going to reach over the bar and just see if I can grab a beer. Just well, grab that, a beer. If you're trying to grab a bar, the bartenders were putting out drinks for everybody. So I have no, pro, you know, if you're saying you grab just, one, you yeah, know. I just assume because we're Marines and fucking Marines, they weren't going to give me one. That's so off office. Yeah. One. We're doing, uh, we're doing uh, Destroyer Worlds tonight. And tomorrow night is Chariot of the Gods, episode one. Uh, my favorite. Uh, this is my first time running Destroyer. So I'm a little weak on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, as as I do that, I'm gonna walk over to Chaplin and I'm gonna be like, "Man, you almost, almost had her. So good." <laughs> I'm gonna walk out. Chaplin looks confused. <laughs> Mason, are you Thank leaving? You. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah I had an idiot moment. I spent like two minutes trying to figure out why I couldn't move my token, and then I realized I was trying to move it on the stream. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what it. the fuck is going on? Oh, I'm an idiot. Someone check clip that, please. Guy. Someone clip that. I need no. that from him so bad. God. Please. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I'll just delete it. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, y'all head out, and you see the cold wind just to cost you because of the, the stench and the heat that was in the, the bar. You know, I know, Mac, isn't that great for Jeff to do that? Yeah, thank you. Uh, and... Uh, you know, it's fucking too damn cold outside, but you run in and, you know, uh, Iona pops the hatch and y'all let y'all all in there, uh, and come in and he looks at the, uh, Silva looks to Majuska and goes, good job on the, on the stem. Uh, and you know, he, he kind of re relays everything and he then looks up to the map and we go back to. Whistling? No. Oh. You go back to uh, from where y'all are at, the Oblivion Bar. You just kind of go back up north of the way and into a couple of major roads, and then you'll see the Marshall Station, which is just to the east of downtown, toward District East. When we're driving, I'm going to uh, smack Ham, get his attention, and then pull out and give him a beer. <laughs> You guys see a single a single tear. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Start knocking them back. As I as I'm taking my first swig, I'm gonna lean over to Juice and say, "Stop being such a teacher's pet." All right. So let me. Oh, hey, man, this is all part of my plan. Mm -hmm. Is it part of your plan? Okay. I got a plan. All right. Let me. So, all right. So so far, not too shabby on you know. We won't say that's tremendous role playing, but we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work. Well, we haven't it. died yet, so there's a plus. That's true. You haven't. What are uh, you talking about? I cold cocked a motherfucker in a bar. <laughs> she didn't uh, die. He did. All right. You and... hit a girl. No, I hit a bitch. There's a difference. Hey, uh, that's capital B. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, yep. Um, yeah, as you and yeah, as you're um uh, uh, uh let me use see. your words. I'm just looking at <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Nope. Uh no, I'm not gonna. Um Okay. Um who's so what are we doing? You you guys all hop in the APC. Yeah. Yep. Yes. We're hanging I'm out driving. having beers. Silva's like, he's just like looking at y'all fucking store that shit now. I'm you're, trying He's like, to. you're fucking Marines. Marines act like it. Stop acting like yahoos. It's part of my plan. I'm, I'm going to be in disguise. 
I've got another to their agendas, their butt heads, and so I can't get mad at them. So, um, yeah, you're in disguise. <laughs> okay. And he, like, he just said, Chaplain, get the wheel. Let's get moving. All right. R- rolling. Rolling out. Lock it down. And they're acting like Marines. Yes, I know, Mech. And so, yes. Yeah. And uh, off you go. And away you move. Now, uh, okay. And, um, doesn't take you too long. Uh, you're seeing, you know, still more er- deserted areas of town. You can, y'all look up and you can tell, uh, that the, uh, the, the, the um, <laughs> the space elevator is supposed to be locked down, but you can see that it's going up, you know, and, but there's no, their ships are gone. When you're looking for y'all's freighter, frigate, frigates and all that, they have, there is nothing up there docked to the station. Uh, and there are no ships at all, as you know, um, taking off from the spaceport and all that. Um, it is, you know, dead sky right now, uh, except for the twinkles of stars and the snow, uh, that is blizzarding is actually looks like there's more bad weather's moving in. Uh, it's getting colder and looks like the snow is starting to fall harder. Uh, and your chaplain having to pay a little bit better attention to your driving because, uh, even though this beast is pretty, pretty heavy and moving and all that. Um, mm. yeah, you've got snow accumulating on the ground. Um, and you move up and head to the Marshall station. Uh, and, sure um, do. yep. And you pull out a it's quick so layout in the snow. Yeah. Silva per- pu- pulls a quick layout of it, pulls it up on the screen for everybody to look at. And you'll see, let me get it set for the stream. Yay. All right. That's good enough. Um, okay. Pulls up to it and he goes and Silva basically says, shit, sh- you know, shit can the beers here. Dante, leave the rocket launcher in the fucking APC this time, please. <laughs> okay. He, he it's my emotional he support did. animal. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got your emotional <laughs> support. Just reach down between your legs and take care of it if you need to. Okay. Ooh, uh, and I'll be doing that too. <laughs> He says, these are the marshals. These are the law. So give them the respect, even though, yes, you, we are Marines. They are the law here. So I don't want any funny business. Just get information. See if the f- fucker AWOL's here. Get them out. I'll pull some orders real quick to, to send into them uh, for turnover. and But find out what you can. Get in there and get some more answers. And he says... Iona get Iona get the door and she goes there and pops it and she, yeah she's giving y'all all the wink and you know better you than her and here you go y'all are coming in and do, do, do. you've got some stairs you're creeping up you know getting blizzarded out there snow's doing its thing and yep you walk up to some glass doors that are entrance to what looks like a, you know, um, a police station, you know, from the seventies, you know, heavy concrete, you know, <laughs> windows, you know, a couple two stories. And this place needs a woman's touch. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. I got I'm a gonna... rocket launcher outside. Yep. I'm going to go to Chappie. I'm going to be like, uh, you heard, the boss, none of this funny business. Uh, yeah, that's Chaplain, like that's gonna Chaplain, t- Chaplain takes the tape off of his upper lip. Oh, here, let me. Uh, says, I, I understand. Yeah. Make sure movements unlock token. We so gotta be all serious around. now. Okay. So in y'all face. can yeah. So basically, you look in and you see through the glass door. There's a little reception desk and there's this f- woman. You probably in her sixties. You know, hair looks like she had it nicely made, but part of it's fallen down. You know. And she's got, there's a couple of phones in front of her and she's got both of them in her ears, you know, and you can hear, know. you know, you can't hear what she's saying as the wind's blowing, you know, snow's blowing in your face. Um, but she looks like she's got two phones, you know, little princess phones, you know, in her ears, you know, 
and she's talking on both of them. You know, she moves up and opens the door and says, come on, get in here. Come on. I'm cold. I don't like the cold. Move it. Man, you, you people are so serious. I thought we were supposed to uh, see interesting places and save the world. Why, why are we all so serious? I'm just, a, I'm just here to bust down doors and shoot things. I don't do this talking bullshit. Come on, man. Use, use your words. Use your, use your inner wonderfulness. Yo, we're I, saying I this out in the, the cold building. weather. I just did. No, we're, we're, it, it I don't see you moved in. I'm waiting for y'all to move into the reception area. I'm holding the door. Yeah, I know. Majewski's holding the door, letting the cold air in. And she's like going, get, shut the door. No, Phyllis, that wasn't me talking to you. I know your dog's missing, but I can't do nothing about it right now. The marshal's busy. What do you want me? Hold on a second. No, Henry, I don't know about it. There's no such thing as monsters. You know, whatever you saw, it was just the shadows and the blizzards. There's no such thing. No, they don't exist, okay? Don't I can't listen report, to her. I can't report that. And she hangs up the phone. No, and it's okay. I'm sorry, you know, but they will call. I'll get the marshals over there to check out why your back door is broken into. Okay, there's, you know, we, we're short staff right now. Ring, ring, ring. She picks up another phone. Oh, please, they should... No, what do you mean? It was what? What was running? What? It took, and she doesn't know. Stop playing. That's just a joke. It's stupid. Har har. I haven't got time for this. And she clicks up the phone, you know, and she goes, Can I help you? Chaplain, are you standing out in the cold for a reason? Just checking. I we closed hit. the map and I can't open it. Don't forget, <laughs> open up your character sheet, double click on your avatar, double click on the right portrait. Oh, in that nice. There we go. In that nice. Oh, dude, I was I was hoping you'd just trigger the map again. Oh, you wanted us? Just, you wanted us to quit? No, we don't want to quit. <laughs> no. So, okay, she goes. Can I help you? How many people are behind her in the bullpen? Uh, you see the bullpen. Um, bullpen marshal. You see. You'll see a couple of individuals kind of sitting at their desk, writing notes, you know. Um, I'll uh, take my pad with Reese's picture on it. Say, have you seen this this person? Is he in your one of your cells? And set it on her her, her desk there. Yeah, I she goes. I have no idea. Uh, you'll have to talk to Marshall Himes about that. Okay. Are none of those boys in that big room helping you out answer these phones? Hell we don't no. Want to bother you. They're too you busy got, for it. And all this bullshit. You got too much going on. There's, there's the storm's coming and people are cold and I've got too many freaking I got we got more robberies but there's now people telling me there's monsters are running around in the streets in their backyards and that's just bullshit. I ain't got time for can, this stuff. Can people we just go ask one of those about boys? Monsters? Can we what? can we just go back and ask them a question? No, I'll we call them. No, you? no, no, no. You can't, sir. But I can All call right. them up, and she All basically good. she she thinks she can reach for the phone, and she just yells back, goes, "Marshall, Marshall, there's some Marines here to see you." And she you knows back, and uh, and then you hear, yeah, they, she catches Mason. You ask questions. Yeah, they some jokes just think it's funny, you know, uh, that they're just you know. Say there's shit running around them. Someone ate their one of them ate their dog. Heard the dog barking and then all of a sudden screaming really loud and a crunch. And but I know I think we can do about it right now. Right, so, right. Uh, did they happen to give any type of description or anything? That way we can kind of. Are you serious? Uh, you think I asked no, that question? No, 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 no. Not not saying that there's merit to what they're saying. Just in case people try to pull that shit on us, we. No, we already have. I didn't ask. I'm you know. sorry. All right. Oh, it's fine. I just figured I haven't got time for it. While we're waiting on the marshal. Yeah, you're waiting for there, and you'll see, yeah, uh, 50 year old or, you know, marshal, dressed like a marshal kind of bit, you know. No, op 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 this we it's Majewski. We just call him the juice. So, you know, we don't juice. say it right. You know that you know that is not supposed to be said right. <laughs> hey? Uh, and, uh, yeah, this gentleman comes strolling over to you. You know, uh, and he uh, kind of straightens up a little bit and 
pulls, you know, pulls his shirt up, clean it. He's, you know, he looks disheveled and all that. And he goes, yeah, I'm Marshall Himes. How can I help you soldiers? What brings you over here to the Marshall station this hour, this time of night? Hold up the pad and say, we're looking for this uh, person right here. Uh, manipulation roll. Give me manipulation roll. Oh, gosh. That's not a good one for me. <laughs> oh, I got a success. <laughs> nice. So he goes, I think I think I recognize that. Can that be the same guy? And he he goes over. You got a little, uh, he kind of says, come on, follow me. And he lets y'all come in. He goes over here to this first little terminal right here. And he pulls up. He, he pulls up deal and he hits a you know button and it's, you know, pissed. You gotta remember this is 80s tech now. We ain't got high tech stuff in here. Not like what Hammer's got behind his background. Okay, that stinking show, you know. But that's okay. This is aliens. This is, you know. And he pulls up a grainy shot and it's that's almost retro ex- future. Yeah, he's got almost it's almost an exact duplicate. Of your shot, it's Reese, but it's a mug shot. Okay, that looks yep, like him. I think that is him. Well, yep. well, what? Well, well, how'd you know he was here? We hadn't even booked it all in yet. I'm just letting him yep. sleep it off. Well, he's he's to come back with us. He is a wall. Oh, so we'll take him God. off your hands. Dang it! Oh yeah. Well, he's back in the holding area. He's we'll save you the screaming, paperwork. Screaming and got sick and threw up on one of my marshals. You know, upset stomach. And uh, so I put him back there in a holding cell, holding area number five. And uh, well, I'm, a, I'm a medic. Perhaps I should go examine him. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, yeah. He probably you, got space herpes. <laughs> the worst kind of herpes. <laughs> Somebody's been watching Ice Pirates. <laughs> Someone's been playing with Ice Pirates. Dude, um, I had to I had to pay yeah. like ten bucks he to goes, rent that movie to see it again. <laughs> Not to date myself or anything, but I saw that in the theater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That was, that was the sci fi we deserved. Alright. Um <laughs> whoa. This triggered P <laughs> No. Uh not yet. Um, let me, uh, let me check something here. So as, and as he does that, he, he points down to yeah holding cell. Now, actually, I think it was either four or five. He's in one of those down there. Um, if y'all excuse me one second, I will, I'll give, we'll unlock it down there. You can go get them out. I think the keys are with, um, Marshall, uh, hold on. Marshall, 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 um, well, Marsha, 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 Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> Uh, Mar- I think I think Deputy Dodd. You're gonna believe that Deputy Dodd uh, Deputy is uh, got the keys, but he's questioning an, uh, he's questioning somebody else that we picked up outside uh, the bar the other night, and he, he's there in the short bald dude. How the fuck did you know that? Woman's what? intuition. Son what? of a bitch. We need to talk what to that lucky. gentleman as well. Yes, well he's we not a do. marine, so he's my problem. But you can have your marine. And no, no, no! By all, by all means, so you can keep them. We just need to ask him a couple questions. Just, well, just need to find a little bit of information if you he, don't. Yeah, mind. he has information on the other three that we're missing. You didn't say. Any, well, you got three more of them lost. You didn't tell me that, did you? Yep. I'll, sh- I'll show him the pictures <laughs> just in case he's seen them. Uh, nope. But uh, you know, you know, you can. Are you sure about that? Let's. So he kind of. He kind of follows. Okay, so he's going to start moving toward the interrogation room, and he says he, he kind of moves this way. Let's see what's happening. I, I can get the keys from Dodd, but I don't know if I'm comfortable letting y'all speak to one of my, let's just say, captor captives right now. So <clears throat> he's moving. It's fine. We'll deal with the Marine first. Uh, Marshall, he moves you here. said that he was uh, throwing up all over the place and complaining of a stomach ache or some some bullshit like that no i just said he threw up on my deputy who the hell was face herpes who the hell said that you know uh, like i'm asking you faye did faye did something okay yeah yeah all right yeah gotcha no no he goes no he does nobody's complaining about uh, 
the the dude the bald head dude's complaining about stomach aches, but I figured he just drank as much as the other guy. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, all right. I appreciate it. Just... Okay. So who's going where? So okay, so Marshall's Marshall is headed toward the interrogation room. And you hear Silva, someone follow him and see what this guy looks like. Get a good shot of him. See if you can hear what's going on. I'll follow him. So who? So before he he hasn't got the keys yet. So the holding area is not uh, not unlocked. So who's where? Okay. I'll be ready to go down in the holding area. Yeah. So is Bishop. Uh, so is Chaplain. Uh, me... I'm hugging on Dante. <laughs> we can hold hands. Oh. Sing kumbaya. Yep. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, no, you know Majewski, like. the cell's not open yet, so you can't go in there yet, Majewski. You don't get a little ambitious there. He's got to unlock it for you because the door's locked. Okay. Oh, I, thought I, I thought you said it was unlocked. I'm, no, I'm no, he said he went to go get the keys from Dodd that he was going to give to y'all, and he was going to let y'all have the keys to go get him. He's your property. He says, I, you know, you can, you can take it and clean up his mess after him, you know. Nobody tells uh, the juice what to do. Yeah, so the so Marshall walks in, opens up the door, and he goes in, and he, first off, he goes into the viewing room. But he doesn't shut the door behind him. That's what I thought. Anybody else? So Dante moves up, and you, as you, but you, as you walk by the door, Dante, make me a observation roll. As you oh, walk by the door to the interrogation room, because it's got a little window in it. Hot damn with you guys and the damn successes, man! These dice are hot tonight. Uh, you, yeah, you definitely crash, see baby. two men in there. One is a deputy dressed up like a deputy. And there is a short bald man sitting in there. Um, matches the description that y'all got. Uh, I'll, I'll, and... I'll smack Hammer and say, mm. yo, Jeff Bezos is in the room. We got him. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Uh, and, and then you can hear kind of over the intercom system that's coming out of the viewing room. I don't know what you're talking about. I just was just having a drink. I don't understand why I was arrested. That other dude, that stupid Marine was starting to fight. I wasn't involved with them. Oh, God, dang, I need something. Can I have something to eat? My stomach, it's, God, it hurts, man. I need something to eat. Oh, God, I got heartburn. Get, you know, give the dude some serves. peanut butter to settle I need some water. Uh, can, can Mason hear this where they're standing? Uh, No. Only Dante Dante can because the door's open. Hammer barely, maybe. The rest of y'all here, they're, they're in an I interrogation will, room, yeah. So I will care. use the comms to say uh, the eagle has landed. Uh, cue ball is in the pocket. We have confirmation. Uh, you hit, say that to Silva, and Silva's going to go, if that's Stoles... Not Stoles, but if that's the ball, if that is the who they met with, get them. But don't kill the marshals. Okay? Don't kill, but we need him somehow. Figure out how to get to that dude. If he's got information we need about the rest of them, if he's one that met with them for certain, then we need to verify and we need him. Figure out a way to get in that room. Is this a national security issue, sir? It, yeah, can you get command to, to make a call down here for us? And I'm t uh, so I'll let me see if we don't have. Uh, it may take some time to get back to uh, what's his name. You know, God damn it, I'm forgetting everybody's name. Back to Colonel Sanders, not Colonel. No, Colonel Myers left. It was uh, it was the other dude. It was uh, um, Hatfield. Yeah, Hatfield. Yeah, exactly. Yes, who's in charge? Yeah. So he so said, you can argue with yeah, him, so, No. Yeah. No, no cell. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, he okay. says, just figure out a way to get the guy. Okay. So, uh, you make that call or I will make a choice. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying, Dante? Stop being a dork. Okay. Stop being an a-hole. Be a Marine and get it, find out how to get to that dude, but don't kill the law. That we That's the last thing we need is heads coming from the councils that we killed somebody. 
and he, but he cuts it off. He, you know, he just shuts, he just get it done Marine and click. He's so, so. rude. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> so, so, so if you're so. seeing that the marshal all of a sudden then looks up to see you listen to all that. And he goes, Hey, hold on a second. And he goes, and he, he goes, walks past y'all and he knocks on the door, punches in a code. And the door opens up and say, Dodds, you've got the keys to the holding area. And he goes, yeah, boss here. And he throws him some keys and all that. We've got some Marines here there and hammer observation roll. You're standing right there by the door where y'all position yourself. You've got to make sure in put yourself in squares and make sure you are, you know, where you want to be. Okay. The, oh, the first fail. Now the first you, fail. Can, I did a you few can, stuff. you can push it, push that you can push it. So how you know how to push it now. So what you're going to do is give yourself a point of stress. <clears throat> oh, that's no, a no, it's not okay. a pain. Stop it. I hit the wrong button. Fuck off. I know. Don't. I said now give yourself another yeah, I did. observation roll. Yeah. Does the door to the interrogation room uh, open in or out? Nice. The stress worked for him. He's got it. The stress worked for him and he got a success. Okay. Uh, the door. He pushed it real good. We're going to say the door opened up. We're going to say the door opened into the interrogation room. Don't they? Wouldn't you think they open? I don't know. What would they? What makes sense? Let us say it open in. I don't care. You know? Uh, okay. Uh, you see Stoles. He like he goes pasty white when he hears the marshal say Marines here. And he goes, oh, I need some water. Can someone give me some damn water, man? That's all Is, I'm asking for. Uh, when, oh, God. When, Damn. When I saw Jeff Bezos in the interrogation room, was he handcuffed? Uh, he or is. He yes, just... he is. Ha- yes, he is handcuffed to the table like they would normally do. Yes, because the guy's in there by himself. It's Jeff Bezos. There's no time in in life that he should never not be unhandcuffed. Truth. All right, Hammer. Marshall grabs the keys and he he's walking out the door, and mm-hmm. he walks right past you. <laughs> The door's closing. Am I doing something? I don't know. The are interrogation you, you room s- door? Yeah, the yeah. interrogation room door's oh. closing. Oh, I thought you were talking about the door he's walking through. Yeah, I'm going to kind of do a little foot into the door. Whoop. All, right. All right, so you just kind of hold the door. The mm-hmm. marshal says, who wants him? Who's going to go get the some bitch back there? <laughs> I'll get him. <clears throat> Majuski? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to go grab him. Uh uh, let me ask you something, Marshall. Like, what all did he uh, get picked up for? Just so we know what disorderly what we're conduct. To deal with They're just disorderly acting conduct. like a fucking idiot. Okay, basically, I'm Act, just trying acting to like uh, a marine. distract him from yeah, acting like a marine. Hammer going into the door. <laughs> yeah. So, well, Hammer is the, the, and the, the well, the deputy goes, "What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in here. Get out that's of here." Why I'm, that's why I'm like asking yeah, all these so, loud, annoying well, questions. Yeah. Well, well, as you're doing that, and the, the deputy's yelling. The marshal throws the, who is handing Majuski just kind of chunk, you know, kind of said, here you go. Kind of casually, not rudely, but just kind of chunk, you know, underhands the keys to you, you know? And then all of a sudden he I've hears. In hand, I'm moving towards the door. Yeah. So I you grab him. Be, based yeah. on my comms chatter, we're going to need to move in a hurry here. Yeah. So yeah. And he then turns around. What are y'all doing? I didn't say y'all could go in there. All right. And I dropped something. Drop it outside your you know, and he's like, you know, you know, get you out of my co- interrogation room. room. And Stoles <laughs> is over there. Go, you know, this, you know, uh, you just you'll find out his name is Stoles here in a second anyway. Uh, and he's like, I'm gonna throw. Oh my god, dang, this is the kind. Of, uh, brr, uh. Can someone get this guy some Pepto Bismol? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, man, I'm gonna. God, dang. and he's just like, oh, oh, you know, this hurts. I need something to drink. Hey, Chaplin, Chaplin, you need to get in here right now. He should know. Oh, right away. <laughs> All right. right away. So now y'all yeah, moving that in the, 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 the old the, the old Marshall goes, What the hell is going on? Stop this. Get out. Y'all okay, get the I'm, hell out of I'm here. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do I'm, body block on the Marshall. I we have a medical situation right here for you guy. You do not want him to perish. Manipulation roll. Watch. You manipulation roll. Get that man in an acid. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, not good. At all. Are you gonna push it, I'm Dante? Push. You're gonna push? Now make sure that y'all check out, make sure y'all I don't think most of y'all have 
anything your special. Yeah, you know, don't forget your talent. So if one of them is pushing, you know, banter, I might go okay. Uh, between fights, you're just banter. Um, okay, that's just for stress level. I thought it might be able to yeah. give you an extra roll. Um, but I, you know what? Don't give me your. I'll give you. Uh, I'm gonna stand in front of the marshal. Yeah. You banter. Gonna push me back. I'm gonna have your banter because this this will drive uh, Jeff Jeff, uh, not King Bashman, because this is where I bend the rules a little bit. I won't give you the stress. So you're gonna use your because your banter. Give me another manipulation roll, without stress. Uh, but this is pushing it. This is the only push you get. Oh man, that's good cin- cinematics right yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Well, oh. you still you still okay. So the marshal, you know, said, get the get out of my way, boy. You know, and he just kind of he kind of sidestep you as he sees in the I chaplain. Lady, you see, you see, and, and then I you see Stolas. To as such, yeah, he says Stolas kind of oh, and he just kind of oh man, damn, my stomach hurts, and he kind of collapses in the chair, and he's kind of he's you know a little blood, a little little bear, you know, leftover foods, kind of <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and chaplain, you you know, you rush to him, you know, to that. Now while that's happening, Mason and Juski. You're opening up the door. I'm assuming Juski, you find the keys and it takes a yep. couple and you click and you um, can go through the door. Mason, are you following him or are you sticking? Where, what are you doing, Mason? Let me ask you that. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, provide uh, okay. support. So y'all can, mo- y'all can move down to about halfway down the hallway. Uh, uh, and uh, <clears throat> where are you at, Mason? Put yourself in. I'm right there. Okay. Um, and I have a uh, rifle at the ready. Yeah. So it's kind of, th- there's a couple of lights. We're going to say there's like, you know, a little, little umbrella light hanging, a little canteen light hanging up. There's like two of them in there, you know, the kind, they're not swinging, but they're dim. Okay. You mm-hmm. know, and it's, it looks like it's a two, you know, it's a long little hallway. You're walking about the first couple of cells. They're empty. Nothing's going does on. Our, in there. Uh, yeah. You does know. our um, helmets, uh, have the the flashlight deal uh-huh. uh-huh. light okay uh-huh. and yeah. I'll, and I R yeah, yeah I'll tell uh, I'll tell Juice to pop your light and I'll pop mine okay okay pop the light on you know um, uh, you uh, basically are moving that way and you see you think he said it was a holding cell number four number five and so you uh, like that. move that way and so you're moving halfway and there's nothing don't see anything out of the ordinary so um, but it's dimly lit, and you know, uh, you're moving okay. along. And Zuski and Mason, you move up to him, and y'all looking for, and you will see, um, uh, no little light there. There is uh, something. There's somebody laying in the bed. There, number four. Yep. Is there like any kind of uh, marking or? Like yeah, name name on the door name screw, the, you know, so, yeah. no, anything like that. All right. No, no. In tape. No. Uh-uh. No. I'm just gonna go ahead and peek down on, at five and see if it has anything. They're empty. It's empty. Yep. Okay. It's so empty. five and six are empty. Five and six are empty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This has got to be our guy here. Yeah. It sounds like this is our yeah. boy here. Yeah. So I'll you I'll start, open up the door. Yeah. You start fiddling with the locks. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. it's yeah. Looks like you know. Uh, it looks like there's throw up, you know, there's like there's throw up on the ground, you know, you can see pool, you know, material, you know, leftover, you know, you can smell it and it's, ah, there's rank, something's rotten in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Yep. That's. You get, All right. You know. I'm, while I'm open to trying to open the door, I'm be like, Reese, wake up, you maggot. We got to get you out of here. There is no response. Uh, idiots unconscious. Mm. You have to say, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> come with me if you want to live. Wrong movie. <laughs> nope. Wrong franchise. <laughs> Same director. So, so they stand outside the doorway looking at Reese. Uh, Chaplin, uh, yeah, uh, you've got throw up on your pants and boots oh that's okay i don't mind hey yeah i'm gonna check out and my the, med kit and, and see if I, see what it my light <laughs> yeah the deputy yeah he's just yeah he reeks of beer you know and you know he's just god damn my ulcer oh fuck this hurts man i must have popped it 
Damn it, too oh, much let stress me, in my let life. Let me give you something for the pain. Okay, what do you have for the pain? Was that a pistol? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever's in my whatever's in my field you, med kit. Yeah, you have you probably some pain kit, you know, a pain stem or something you can pop them with. But he goes, yeah, I got an ulcer. I just must have too much going on. I guess something didn't settle with it right. Ah. And he, you know, you know, he's he's one like he's gonna a little bit. You know? someone? Yeah. So he goes, oh damn, I'm a, I'm a, that Chinese didn't settle right with me, I guess, last night. Oh. <laughs> so the deputies are there going, Marshall, what the hell? We do it in here. And the Marshall's like, I don't know what the hell's going. I'm tired of you guys messing with my center, my integration room. And my deputies, into, you know, chatting with this fine individual that's going to stay with here tonight. If y'all would make your way out of this room, we can lock this some bitch up uh, and I will process him. Find out who the hell he is. Meantime, we're we're gonna go in and grab uh, Reese gonna, off the cot. Okay, you move, slide both y'all sliding in there to get him. Mason. Oh, yep. Sorry. Okay, would y'all make me some observation rolls, please? Yep. I'm kind of like standing. Right oh, put your ass in that bed. Put your ass next to that bed. You're I helping. am next to the bed. I'm in the square. I'm just saying I'm right mm -hmm. at the doorway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. You said uh, observation. Observation. Oh right. boy. Y'all can push it if you want to. I got a success. Oh, I saw two rolls. I'm sorry. There was uh, Dante made a roll for some reason. I don't know why. So, so okay. Uh, Majewski. Uh, yeah. So two things stick out to you as you moved up right there to to uh, get Reese. One is you look down on the ground and that is there's the first was a little bit throw up, but there is blood all over the floor and dripping off the side of the bed down uh, at your feet level. And you're sitting oh, hey, there and bite. you're looking at that. And all of a sudden this bloop, something just kind of drops right on your shoulder, left shoulder. And you look at it and then you kind of look up. And above the bed is a two-meter-long bloated hammock suspended by resin webbing. webbing. Uh, and it's pulsing. And, and all of a sudden, you see these hands come pulling it out. Everybody roll me initiative, please. I will. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that happily. <laughs> So you roll, you grab your D10, everybody, and pay attention. Yeah, start rolling until everybody gets their initiative. And let me, oh, not mine. Hold on, I gotta. Do I get my initiative? Let me roll mine. Is that everybody or just the people? Yeah, you roll it until you, until and there's you can't have the same number as somebody else. So if you don't see one in your con, so open up your combat tracker. You have to have your combat tracker out, okay? And that's the double swords on the right hand side. Make sure that's open. And your initiative is the last column. It should be I and I T. If you don't have a number next to it, you need to roll the D10 again because you can't have again. the same number as somebody else. And I'm so, working on it. Keep going, waiting on Mason. He'll, yeah. he'll get it one of these days. So if you're rolling a D10, Fucking hell. if you're rolling a D10 and you have 11 people on the initiative Great. order. Yeah, well, some of them will share. All right. Okay, can. so we are... Majewski, this thing um, is, um, yeah, coming out. It is tearing itself from the cocoon and flops right on the ground. <laughs> and is standing up. Oh, boy. I'll uh, yell, look out, Mason, and I am going to swing my pulse rifle out and light that thing up. Ooh. Oh, Blast that motherfucker. Because I don't think I can get out the door, can I? Yeah. You can move You can move one. You have one. Remember, you move through one zone. So from the cell to the hallway is a zone movement. Okay, I can move move through Mason, basically. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There may be rule right. about moving through characters. I'm 
fucking get her out of the way. <laughs> Shoot, I'll have. Yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to look anyway. Uh, so, but you can move out the door, and, there, and it is bars. So you could still shoot if you want to. I'll give you a negative two, though, on the shot. Okay. For, you know, but you can, yeah, you can position and, you know, as long as you don't fail horribly and shoot Mason. Uh, I so. want to hold my, my fire action because uh, I'm hoping Mason gets to go before this thing does. <laughs> uh, you will, Mason, you don't know that, but you will give me a point of stress. Okay. No, for Majewski, I didn't say Mason yet. I said Majewski oh. did. Yeah, Majewski well, I got I got to take some stress. You got to take a little stress there, sir. From yep, holding. Yeah, you know, one and unless you're just gonna unless the marine just reacts, I'm gonna give you a point of stress for holding as you're trying to figure right. out what to do. Okay, and that's yeah. That's just, your, I uh, yeah, I don't want to accidentally hit Mason. That's fine. So now I don't know what their you'll have to remind me, Jeff. I don't remember what their rule is on holding. Is it? A, is it? Is there? Or is just we just play it by ear. Is that? Uh, I'll look at it while you're, you're moving. We'll, on just, to we'll play it by you right now. I'm letting you hold until you that you know, find out. Okay, but you'll need to pass your turn. So down at the bottom of the combat tracker, it says next actor, which is like the spacesuit little symbol. You'll need to press that for me if you're passing your turn, Majewski. Well, I think the rule is you got to know when to hold them. And when to fuck uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's he's looking up the rule, Dante. So you don't know what's happening. Yeah. So yeah, they didn't say anything we, yet, did we, they? <laughs> So, so you have no idea. You have no okay. idea. No, I'm going to be blocking the sheriff out. And yeah, you're blocking the sheriff. You, they if do I hear me do... over comms yell, out of the way, Mason. Okay. Yeah, we hear something. You can hear out of the I'll, way, Mason. Okay, yeah, that's I'll fine. Tell, I'll tell the marshal, I think you have a ruckus going in the holding <laughs> area. <laughs> a ruckus. Good Mason. What do you mean ruckus? And he kind of, ain't no ruckus. There wasn't ruckus and then going on until you and you boneheads. I'll, I'll tap my helmet. I can hear things you can't hear. Show me. Come with yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. I'll take like one step and then step back. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's kind of, he's kind of, what the hell is going on in my jail? All right. Is that all you're doing, Dante? Uh, my plan is to get into the interrogation room and I'm going to cut the uh, handcuffs. I don't know how many actions and, and stuff I can do, mm. but I want to cut dude's handcuffs out and start yarding him out of this place. Well, uh, so, you... so wherever I'm at now, I will be getting closer to jeff bezos in the interior well if he moved if you moved if you were moving with the i'm gonna have you you'll have to do that next round if you moved with him okay. it's kind of movement keeps you from one zone to the other and all that so that's kind of sure you're just you're doing your staying in that area blocking and then you came back in the room uh yeah. but i don't know if you have anything personal personnel wise that would uh unlock you know clip the the deals you know majewski has the keys I have a grenade. I, don't I have a them. cutting torch. Oh my God, you're carrying the cutting torch too. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna cut the cuffs. And then oh, take you're gonna out. light that. He's got a cutting. I'll be damned. So he's got a cutting torch. <laughs> that is we going have breachers. to breachers. You think we're not gonna walk away with uh, those? I'm a I had to think about marine. It. I am prepared. <laughs> you know what? I don't. I don't think I can hold my action. I think you have to change your initiative in this one. That's, I'm thinking that's, of a different year zero engine where you can hold an action. You can hold. That's fine. So yeah. So I'll, I'll need to go ahead and fire if I'm going to Okay. Do it. So that's fine. Well, Dante. Okay, Dante, you're you know, shoot blocking maneuver, shoot but you shoot him. Yeah, you're shoot moving him. back toward in the interrogation room now. Shoot him. So you've got to. Yeah, this thing is not. It doesn't. You know, it's not. It's not this. It's not a full human sized creature. It, but it is definitely looking some type of abomination that neither one of you two have ever seen before. And what okay, you're looking so go ahead at. and roll my pulse so, rifle. So yeah, target. Yeah, so yeah, you could target. You control click on the token. Um, oh, that's right. Okay, or control click on them in the combat tracker. Hold the control key down and then click on the token. I think that's the target. It should. If it doesn't, um, then just roll your uh, ranged attack. I think I got it targeted. I don't know for sure. I don't see it in the combat tracker. Yeah, I don't see, but we don't care. Okay. Oh, look at that. Bang, bang. Okay. So, um, 
With my you, stunt, I want to knock it back into the room and away from Mason. It was just it would knock it onto the bed yep. where you clearly saw was Reese. Uh yeah, you think? Yeah. Uh uh just checking. so um <laughs> hold on one second. Um uh let's see you're going to hit this thing and it's you're so you're saying uh you were trying with your hits if you succeed to push it back right um and yeah, you basically got, knock it knock it down where it can't yeah you know so it's well this thing stands up so your bullets slam into it jesus fucking christ ah dang man so nope. It Don't takes, forget, I, that is an armor-piercing round, also. But yeah, it, it, well, it, it, yeah, yeah, he's got armor. Yeah, so, uh, so, two well, points of damage. So it's going to take the damage, but does remind me, armor-piercing does what? It would just still it, have, it, it halves his armor. It so halves. It, thank has, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So he. Well, I'm not having nothing there. It was a complete failure. So we'll give that to you. Uh, and that thing takes... Don't, don't be um, so hard on yourself, Duff. It's okay. So it takes a point of damage. and Actually, the base damage on the rifle is two points. That's what I need to know. Thank you very much. Yep. So, okay. So it took, took, took two points of damage. And it the recoil takes it, lifts it up, you know, as it was standing up. Uh, it's momentum. And it, 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 it flings it onto the bed. I'll be like, Mason, close the door on the way out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get right to that. <laughs> okay, that was happened. So Dante, you're doing your thing, and then you you're turning around, pulling out your torch because you're now saying light them up, and you're headed yep. toward uh, this insurgent that is on the table. All right. Uh, as as I am moving in, I say, uh, Ham, rest restrain the deputy. Okay, chaplain. So, yeah, so uh, I, I, I tranked this guy as much as I can. Doesn't seem anything is working here, though. So you're tranquilizing him instead of st or, medicating him? Uh, what do you call it? Medicate him, yeah. Me well, you're medicating him, yeah. So you're hitting him with some to relieve some pain and all that. Uh, so you, you can make, uh, you could just hit, actually make me a, um, a uh, close combat roll. Cause he's, cause he's first going to, what the fuck? He's like, get off me. Don't touch me. Man. Ah, <laughs> oh, it didn't matter. Okay. So you pop him one. Now were you using him? And so I'm at, but I am asking this, this is a thought comment. Was it either, was it, was it painkillers or were you trying to knock him out? Oh, that's a good question. Let's say I was trying to knock him out. There you go. Okay. So you hit him with that. You hit him with some, yeah. Some sleepy does, you know, and, yeah, and he's got, <laughs> you know, and you kind of, you know, and uh, you see, he's kind of starts to, yeah, uh, it takes, you know, effects fairly quickly. Uh, and, you know, he's, you know, he's kind of sitting there, uh, rock goodbye, me. I'll kill you, litter demon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I turn yeah. around to, uh, and, uh, to, uh, Chaplin turns around to Dante and he says, I think he's ready to go. Yeah, and the, uh, the, the deputies go, what the hell? You killed him. Marshall, they just killed him. And he's like reaching for his gun. You know, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you uh, don't want to do that? <laughs> anything else, Chaplin? Oh, man. This is going to go sideways. Uh, I'm gonna, he's going to start collecting the dude, though. Maybe. Well, you, your action was the medicate was the thing. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Uh, you can, the next thing he's going to do is throw him over his shoulder. Well, you'll they'll be on your next turn. So you need to pass your turn right now. So uh, on the combat tracker down the bottom, there's a little symbol like a spaceman and that says next actor. Y'all hit that, and it passes the turn to the next person on the combat so, track. There you go. So the cue ball dude is not handcuffed to the table. He's just handcuffed to himself. No, he's handcuffed correct? to the table, too. No, yeah. Okay, yeah. so he can't Somewhat. throw him over his shoulder. No, he cannot. He's, so no, I do no, have to yeah. cut him free. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chaplin, I, I okay. okay. Chaplin's okay. seeing that. He was going to do that, and he's seeing, oh, he's got handcuffs okay. on. Yeah, I, so I was that's confused. Fine. We were retro retcon that. Uh, that's, just, that's just role play. Hammer, what are you doing? As you see the deputy reaching for his gun. I am going to rush in. I'm going to bum rush him, and I'm going to 
quote unquote restrain him. What's that mean? What the fuck's that mean? Uh, go get him, Tiger. Is there <laughs> is there is there a mechanic rule about um pistol whipping someone? Well you just you just you just it's just close a combat. close combat pop, yeah. You're just popping them. That's Jesus. Is, <laughs> a lot of dice popped him in the face man you know mm-hmm. and he just he flies back you know he's a deputy poor deputy and you just see just cold cock him just like mason did you know <laughs> pop, him right under, pop him right up under the nose and he just flies back you know hits the hits the wall and just goes <laughs> a little I'm birdie gonna... starts spinning around yeah exactly exactly yep i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. turn to dante and go how was that that, I, man, I love you more than any of these other fuckers. <laughs> okay, anything else, Hammer? You're showing off. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back over here. Why am I? Oh, I need to fix my settings. Oh, Hammer. our lovely Xenomorph. Hang uh, on, Hammer didn't get to go. I know. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Hammer just cold cocked the ha- deputy. Hammer oh. just pistol whipped. Oh, him. whoops. Sorry. Yeah. So the oh, Xenomorph. Last. Yeah. Oh, no. So, Oh yes. Yep. <laughs> that, that's why when you said that, I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll get right on that." Yeah, and it it I just had my basically confused. You know, it basically you see, uh, you know, and yes, you see a couple of wounds on it, uh, Mason, because you're you you can smell the acid, you can see, you know, this thing's care, you know, as it's, it's growing, and it actually see parts of it popping as it's still jet forming and it picking itself up and it blood drips down onto the bed and onto the carcass that was Reese and it's just sizzling and you see smoke rising for it and it launches itself right at you just <laughs> coming right for Mason. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be so soon. God damn, we've only been playing for two hours and he's gonna get killed. And here it, That's how it comes. goes, man. Yep. As soon as I rolled an eight on an issue, I was like, yeah, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> I didn't expect to not be the first one to die. <laughs> I don't I did you with Is this a proper though? xenomorph also? So I not mean, yet. Not yet. And it's I need a, I'm it's gonna a turn. One. It's a young one, but I want to, I was wanting to show my role, show GM roles. I thought y'all couldn't see that, right, though? So <laughs> we, uh, we saw the shadow, but we don't see the result. Yeah, the, maybe the it could be the dice, dice tower. Thing. Okay, so I had one success out shadow of rolls. out of 10 dice. I don't dice. believe that. I didn't yeah. see it. Uh, Picture yeah, didn't happen. Yeah, it did. So the beast launches through the air, grabbing its victim. It attacks with 10 base damage. D damages one. Hold on. If it hits, it immediately drags them into the neighboring zone or dumping them on the floor. The victim is prone, drops all handheld items, and must make an imp- immediate panic roll. So he is now that seems gra- reasonable. You see Mason just get dragged and thrown, and it's just I mean, she just lifted up and just tossed on, right dump. at the right into the toilet. Yep. Didn't it okay. say into the next zone? Well, you're only you're in a cell, so it's well. Actually, it did. Hold <laughs> yeah, on a so second. It so it would have knocked me out into the hallway, wouldn't it? If it hits it immediately, but it's dragging you into a neighboring zone. Um, well, he he does have an opportunity to block. I think. Well, you if, if you want to let him, he he does have a weapon in his hand to be able to block. See, I don't know all the rules sometimes. So yeah. we, but but there's also you've got armor too, right? And yeah, so he's got yeah. armor too that could yeah. So be effective. yeah, yep. so I'm gonna let's do Mason. Where's your gear? I believe has got your armor. No, where is armor combat? Okay, it's in combat. Yeah, I know. Um, I see it. Make that roll. Fingers uh, crossed, everybody. The AR. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's armor. Yep. Roll. Well, Ooh. shit. Okay, Look at so that. don't get the base damage. Uh, so you're not going to get the damage from it, but we're saying, will I, you know, because you succeeded, you can block the throw of grabbing you. Duh! Basically, the claws <laughs> just rake off of the yeah. armor, and he can't yeah. get purchase on him. Fair enough. Use some of that jujitsu shit. Yeah. 
But then, so that means you're here. That means you're, but yeah, so this creature's here. My question is, is did he wear his brown pants? It makes it as a she. Is, is it a she? She wear. Uh, however, I, I do, but I, but I do, if you haven't already, Mason, you do need uh, another point of stress, though. You do need a point of stress. Stress okay, is so immediate. Just, uh, just the stress, no panic roll? Uh, no, you still have to make the panic roll, too. Must uh, make and must make, a, ma I'm must sorry. make an okay, immediate panic on. roll. All right, hold on. What's that, Jeff? Do I need to do I need to take a point of stress as well, just from this? You you got creature? yours. You got it. Well, you did when you ran out and did all that. That's what I gave you and all that. So you're okay, good right, right now. Yeah, cool. for, and, right. and from the creature hadn't seen before. So okay, cool, 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 cool. Gotcha. Should all right, should uh, be on the tables, yeah, yeah, right? No, no. Yeah, I had to look yeah. up something. Yeah. Uh, panic roll. Here we go. Oop, panic roll. Oh, you're good. There you go. Okay, so nothing happens at all. All that the the attack from this xenomorph, yeah, though failed, but it was it's right in your face. Really, you got to have about three points of stress before you got to worry about bad things starting to happen. Okay, oh, yeah. uh, hold on, uh, that's wrong. So uh, we're back, still round one. Mason, you're up. All right, now it's my turn. Uh, am I able to kind of like step back? A square to uh, unload. Uh huh. Because oh, yeah. I, uh -huh. I can't remember how, like, you know, moving away from enemies. No, there's not like off. op attacks like that. Okay, no. cool, cool, cool. No, no, no. So <clears throat> you may. All right, I'm going to backpedal as uh, I get this, like, thousand yard stare in my eye, and I'm reaching uh, for my equipment, and I just say, to mutter to myself, I know how to deal with your kind, and I'll pull out Bake a Flake. <laughs> Bake and what? <laughs> what? It's the hold on. Let me. I'm missing something. Hold, up. hold on. Well, let me pull it up though. Um, blah, 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 blah. the troops in the field have given the M240 the unceremonious nickname of Baker Flake. Uh, oh, you're talking about you're pulling out the flamethrower. I'm gotcha. pulling out the incinerator. Unit. <laughs> yeah, the incinerator unit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lighten up this room. All right. <laughs> How, how do you whisper again? Is it hash, you right hash? mouse? You can right mouse click on one of the avatars, and at the nine o'clock position is a W. The whisper, click on it. It fills it in down at the bottom, and then just type your message in. If you're whispering to me, do a slash W space GM space, and then the message. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. Bake a flake. So, yep. Bake a flake. Yes, I got a bing in my ear. All right, cool. So I guess I just need to roll the attack so on it, right? I roll the. You have. Uh, you can open up the incinerator, and it's got. Uh, you just do your uh, ranged attack. I'd say medium damage. Yeah. So it's a flamethrower. It's a range because it's in the next zone. So it's a ranged attack. Okay. Yeah. So it should be good. All right. Cool. Miss. I'm gonna push that. So you give yourself a point of stress, hit it again. All right. You start uh, clicking on stress. it. <laughs> click, click. God dang it. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Let's go. What was that? Wait, how, how did you, wait. How did you all of a sudden get more dice? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. What did you click on? He got an extra point of stress as soon as he pushed it. Yeah, he got the dice, but I'm looking at one, two, three, four. He's got more black dice than he had a minute ago. What the uh, hell? I, I clicked on the same yeah. thing. No, I know. I see it. Brains plus four. I don't understand what happened there. Okay, well, <laughs> you got hits plus stunts. What are you doing? The first one has a mod stack minus two on it. So he should have had more dice to start with. Oh, that's what it was. For some reason, it carried over that minus two on that panic roll. Okay. So it should have had those extra dice on there on the first. Oh, roll. that's right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, it's fine. I that's forgot fine. that. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll keep the stress. I don't give a shit. Um, let's see. Um, well, first I'm gonna hit him, obviously, and um, I am going to. All right, Duff, it says any target hit by an incinerator unit also catches fire in Kinsity 9, see page 108. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
so I don't know. So yeah, catch well, fire. He gets nine dice, I think. But... Yeah, you got your uh, base dice is uh, intensity nine. The target bonus always uses catches fire, um, but it's fire intensity nine. Um, yeah, so page. he rolls that, and if he gets a success, it keeps burning, and he takes that damage. And until he gets no successes, I think it keeps going. Yeah, yeah, because it's burning. The fire is measure, measured in intensity. A typical fire has an intensity eight. When exposed to fire, roll a number of base dice equal to the intensity. For every yeah. six rolled, you suffer one point of damage. Armor can protect you. Okay. If you take damage, you catch fire and continue to burn and suffer another attack at the start of each new round. The intensity increases by one each round because you're burning more. And as soon as a fire attack inflicts no damage, the fire goes out. Okay. So if, if he rolls the, the intensity number, if he gets a success, it's on fire. He takes that damage, armor works, but then next round he gets to roll 10 dice. So combat, yeah, you're going to go to the combat on your main, pay, on the combat tab, yep. King, King Bashman. And I think there is uh the just roll that so is the attack gonna roll again i'm assuming um nah, i i succeeded on the attack and got two stunts it's so the, you so, can add, so now so now do i add the you, stunts to the two damage you can does yes. initially yes mm -hmm. you could roll yes you and could roll. then and then roll the the nine Eleven. dice for intensity mm -hmm. yep 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 okie dokie cool yeah all right, so do do the extra damage in the swap initiative. So you want to go before that thing? <laughs> well, we're gonna roll again here in a Six, second. Seven, it's the bottom eight, of the order. Nine. Oh. All right, so, here comes the nine dice. So two <laughs> points, and it has. It is on fire. It's on fire, and. It takes both points of damage. So right? it takes, it takes four points four, of damage. Four points four, from the first four one. Four points of damage. Why did y'all right. get quiet all of a sudden? And then, and then two points from the fire. <laughs> right. And then I'm going to stunt to do an extra point of damage. So that's five damage. And Okay. You killed it. It's, it's dead. Yes. You, you see it. You see it. <laughs> you know, and it blasts. It just, you know. Hits back up here and it explodes, you know. And the heat screams. boils its head and it pops yeah. like a pimple. Yeah, and you see acid spurting everywhere. Oh, maybe I could get a an acid splash. Ooh, could I? Yeah, I was just going to suggest an acid splash. There is an acid <laughs> splash, but he's in a he's in. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it was true. It's there in a is. Different zone. Yeah, it's yeah. a different zone. He's a different zone. If he was next to it, I would most certainly give him an acid shot. Uh, yeah, I think but you got to be in close quarters with him. It's got it, but he's back against the wall. But you see it, yeah, blasting everything in the bed. Everything's just sizzling. The wall sizzling. You know, the fire's to make popping. Note of. <laughs> it's just everywhere. Yeah, you smell it. You wretched. Uh, is it? And the, the cocoon up above just explodes with a ball of fire as it gets hit with it, and the room is just blazing. And back of y'all here, what the hell is happening in my jail cell? And, uh, and and <laughs> as like when that happens, I'll just radio to Silva. Silva, we got some issues in here. We got strange creatures inside the jail cell. You might want to. Uh, I don't know. We're fucked. He says I'm calling. He says, "Look at this." What do you mean? He, he was. I'm watching it, and he goes, "I'm trying to believe." Uh, I'm recording it right now. Keep back up from the things. Why don't you shut the door? Uh, and um, to the jail cell and keep recording us. I'm I'm gonna call this in to um, I'm call this in. Yeah, well, seeing is believing. So comforting. <laughs> Hang on, let me make a phone call because I don't know what to do. No, he knows <laughs> well. You know, Hatfield needs to know about this. Yes, I need and to phone a friend. He, yeah, and Hat well, yeah. do whatever you're gonna fucking do and do it goddamn fucking fast. We ain't got time for fucking bureaucratical bullshit and I'll fucking hit the button to close the door. Calm your nerves, Marines. You're a Marine. Just another glorious day in the core. Shut the door. And, but keep filming. It's, the more we got, the better. But, you know, it goes, and I guess you didn't... I guess that was Reese in there, I'm assuming. Yes, sir. Don't need that one. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Check off. Reese's accounted for. Check. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey Cap. 
<laughs> Cap, when the fire burns out, do you still want me to bring uh, Reese out there to you? I, I think we're you, good. I think we're right, good. You, yeah, leave that in there. We, this is, you this is above our pay grade. You can get his dog tags because yeah. I'm not going in to get them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. It smells and, like barbecue. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess uh, we're out of combat, or do well, I need to pass? Yeah, no, we're out for the moment. So, okay. yeah, the xenomorph is dead. And, and it's dying in there, screaming, you know, and it drops, and you just see carcass. The fire's raging in there because there's a that cocoon was pretty thick, and it's nicely, it's a nice fire source, and smoke's yeah, billowing out of there. And the, what? Don't forget the Xenos do have a crit table if you want to use that on page two ninety one. Do we really? Uh, <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> you can make things pretty interesting if you want. Oh, he's gonna make me oh. do it, folks. No, I'm not going to make you do it. I just, it's uh, just... you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he rolled a one. <sighs> you just had to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Juice. What did we tell you about? Sometimes you just need to learn to keep your goddamn mouth shut. All right? Fucking <laughs> Thank you, cut. Jeff. I appreciate it. The damn so, thing is yes. on fire. It's on fire. Yeah, that, but it, all right, though. He's it's gonna, and it's on fire. So. It's on fire again. And it's it, but I said the room was blazing. So but yeah, y'all see yeah. that thing as y'all are watching in horror and you hear Silva going, You've gotta be fucking kidding me. And you because the creature hey, all of a sudden you seeing this shit? Yeah, he basically it basically it pats the fire off of itself, you know, and it starts to rise up, but then some cocoon more of it falls down right on top of it, you know, and it catches on fire. <laughs> You know, and it's just, you know, it's, it will do, it's going to die. So, cause we well, can, thank it, you boys. I'm but it's, never but gonna sleep again. Yeah. But it's going <laughs> to, but because of what y'all just watched, thank you, Majewski, you and Mason can have another point of stress. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Uh, and the Marshall yeah. is just backing out and now smoke is billowing, filling up the area too. And you, you two are getting, <clears throat> you're beginning, your lights are starting to not be able to cut through the smoke because it's catching, you know, that room is blazing on fire now. And all of a sudden, hey man, ding, 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 It starts going off, yeah. Walk, ding, 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 ding. walking ding. by the, uh, the, the, the <laughs> sheriff, I say, I think your smoke detectors are malfunctioning. Well, yeah, as soon as you say that, and then go, ding, 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 woo, 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 you know. Uh, and, you know, everybody get out, get out, you know. And he starts yelling, move it, move it. Oh, my God. You know, find where are the extinguishers? And he's like, you know, but there's nobody really here. And he's like, where's Dodd? And he's like, you know, he's not, you know, <laughs> not knowing that his deputy is cold cocked on the ground. Um, <laughs> what do you, th okay. So now the three are in there while the deputies run around and y'all hear, you know, there's fighting and you hear gunshots, you know, you know, and you hear, God damn, you know, and screaming, uh, what are we well, doing the in the interrogation alarm, room? If the fire alarm's going off, I'm going to pick up the deputy and bring him outside. I'm yeah. Going and I'm, I'm trying to cut Bezos You, you loose. cut him. Yeah. Shh. You, you okay. cut him. You don't cut the ch you cut the chains, but not the cuffs. So I'm assuming. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, I just okay. I just want to get him free of the yeah. table. Yeah. I'll pick him up and get him out. <laughs> Hammer will take the deputy. We'll we'll leave Chaplin in here, <laughs> and, and and we'll make our way out. <laughs> Everybody, we need to leave. <laughs> yep. Up. 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 Uh, uh, We're going to <laughs> leave Okay, so yeah, and the deputy's trying to. He's like, "Where's Dodd?" He's like, "What the hell happened to Dodd? What the? What are you doing, my deputy?" And he's following. He's such so, a him. so when we get by reception, I'll yell at Gladys to get yeah. her ass out yeah. into the so, snow. And Gladys is, "What the hell? Is, I don't get paid enough." And her name is Olga. Her name is Gladys. Okay, it's Gladys. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Gladys. Get out. Oh my God! Fire! Fire! Now apparently, Juski and Mason are back there watching still. Okay. Um, well, well, I've got a reason to be sitting there staring. One because I was ordered to get video, and for another reason. But yeah, okay, Juski. So that's fine, Juski. You run, and you turn to make me an observ. Actually, make me an observation roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, this as you, is not as, good. As you're running through the bullpen area, grab you. You know the marshals fall. You know in front of you. Holy shit! You guys are on fire tonight already. We gotta, we gotta stop this. No, mess. The, the the office is on fire. Yeah. Well, there's the, 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 the smoke the everywhere. Holding, the, the holding area. area. The holding area. So that's only that. But it's full of smoke. But you don't see Mason with you. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna go back to Mason. 
Right. Said, Come on, Mason, let's go. Well, shit. Mason's not moving. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to grab Mason by the scruff of the neck and drag him. Her. Drag Where's her. the APC, man? I'm running around out Y'all, here. Y'all, it's right there. It's at the doorway. Look, yeah. Looking for a ride. Iona hits it. Yeah, brings it, hits the door to open it up so you can drag everybody in. And the, the marshal's sitting there just going, what the hell is going on? You know, I take, look I take my belt in front of me, wrapped around my fist in front of Mason's face. Let's go! <laughs> my leather belt. Mason. Find your rank. And I'll radio to Silva. Is that enough footage? Move your ass, Marine. 10-4. Damn. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> when I get in the APC... I, since I got there first before Hammer, I'm getting up to the plasma cannon. <laughs> <laughs> He's manning it already, huh? Some shit right. is going on, man. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> as, as I'm going out, I tell the sheriff, and I said, get your staff out of here. There's something loose. And I, I look at the receptionist. I'm like, whatever those calls are you were getting, they weren't lying. <laughs> what's he talking about marshall uh, i don't know they've just they're marines man that's always got to be at 10 this you know at a point 10 a 10 on the gauge always going at a 10 <laughs> you know and now my jail you know is yelling but where's dodd did he dro y'all drop dodd i'm assuming on the front patio there hammer uh, he's in the snow yeah so you know they're down dodd wake up and he's like oh the hell they hit yeah, me i'll look I'll look to the marshal and I'll just say, go talk to Cap and you can see what we just experienced. What's happening inside of your jail. Just, just leave, please. Just yeah. leave. You ain't got to fucking tell me twice. <laughs> I'm wondering how often they checked on Reese. Evidently not very often. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, he was sleeping it off. Well, they were letting him sleep yeah. it off. Yeah. 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 There were probably cameras and everything watching him. But well, y'all saw that working. you saw that there was a camera area, but y'all, yeah, and, you know, the smoke, you know, you never looked at them. Uh, yeah, but there was camera systems. Y'all could see those. Uh, yeah. And it's, y'all yeah, we step in on the blizzard is just blowing through y'all. And, and you know, the marshal's got to go, we got to get in, got to get in shelter somewhere. Come on, Gladys. Come on, Dodd. You know, <laughs> and we're not gonna be able to, we have to let this burn out. Luckily it's not much. It, it'll affect the jails, but it'll, it'll burn out. Uh, over time, there's not much. There's not most of the wood, most of the structures metal, you know, stone and all that. It's not wood, so it'll burn the cell and it'll he'll let it flush it out. And the and so the, fucking so, metal. And the suppressor's going on too, so spray's going going everywhere and all that. So it's really more smoke than anything else now. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's uh yeah yeah uh, we take a five let's take a five minute break real quick. We we shot past our uh what's, what would be our nine o'clock. Uh, intermission mark here because we were having so much fun. So let's take a Good quick idea. little five minute break and then we'll get our 30 cool. minutes wrapped up in here and uh, then finish up for the night. Looks like we, I came close, almost had one death. It was going to be there. Sweet. On the edge. Anyway, we'll be right back, folks. No, that's not big enough. No, that's not big enough either. That's more like it. We're delighted to have you with us. To add to your enjoyment, we're all wound up to bowl you over at intermission time with live wire service at our snack bar, where you'll find a tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages. Now it's showtime, folks. And you can be sure it's the best show in town. Your continued patronage is very, very welcome. Setting up shop. We've got a cleric paladin who is also setting up shop. We're going to call our consortium Praetor's Haberdashery Consortium. We don't sell hats. Is we don't sell hats part of the name? No, I just thought I'd clarify. Oh, I like it better if it was part of the name. Yeah, me too. Oh, I like that would be very I mean, funny. I mean, I'm the head of it, so like I could, we could add that to the name. Yeah, we will then. We're gonna have shirts made. I gotta get their portraits <laughs> all put together, and we're gonna have merchandise. Oh my god! This is gonna be awesome. Raiders Haberdashery Consortium. Parentheses. We don't sell hats. I would buy one of those shirts. 
It's intermission. Rise and stretch time. Time to refresh yourself and visit our snack bar. Got a yen for hot popcorn? Your favorite soft drinks are sparkling cold. The juicy Frank sizzling hot. There's delicious coffee freshly brewed and all kinds of ice cream and candy to tempt you. Showtime will be announced loud and clear to get you back to your car in time. So stretch your legs. Come to the snack bar now. They don't really apply to level zero characters. They don't? Okay. All right. So then I won't grab them. I thought that crit might be that extra one. Okay. So here's the regular damage. Uh, oh, say good night, Francis. Oh, that's Chip. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Chip. Suck it, Chip. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I, I You're thought too telling oh. me. I'm sorry, sir. This is a private mountain. But I only wanted it. This mountain is reserved for patrons. But, but, but it's I... It's a supply depot for all sorts of good things, which people can get at the snack bar. Like soft drinks, candy bars of all kinds, delicious popcorn, and refreshing ice cream treats. But I am a patron of... Well, why didn't you say so? Be our guest. And you're kind of at a point where you can't really wedge your way in there anymore. You're like... <clears throat> Here, boy. Here, boy. Come, come. Here, here, boy. You can do it. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, may I help you? Uh, I'd like two of those, please. Hot dogs? Yes, sir. And three of those. And one of those. And five bars of these. And a cup of that nice hot liquid. Uh, coffee. Uh, coming right up. Oh, and two bags of those peculiar white puffy material. Uh, you mean our crunchy popcorn. Uh, uh, shall I wrap that for you, sir? Oh, that's all right. My thoughts are just outside. <laughs> they come from miles to enjoy our intermission. So I'm, I, I'm terribly sorry. Bjorn, you explode. And in your place is a sweet roll. Nice. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, hello there. Give the demonstration of my new invention, the goodies machine. The machine turns out delicious hot doggies one after the other. And thirst quenching sodas also. Gives popcorn of the most tasty kind, plain and buttered. Candy too, crunchy and dandy. Steaming hot coffee and ice cream too. These goodies are at a snack bar just waiting for you. Private messenger. Then do you know how to do that in Facebook? I mean, in fa Facebook, whatever. What the hell? I'm, what the hell? What the hell? At least Facebook is still around. <laughs> Wow. Years the why mess with a good thing, Go ahead and clip that one, guys. You can you send that one to me later, too. Thanks a lot. As everyone um, knows, rainbows usually have a treasure at the end. Let's follow this one and see if we can find the pot of gold. Brother, I suppose you've come to claim a treasure. Well, we'd like to see the gold first. It's in this better than gold in here, me lad. No, no, just look here, no. Candy. Refreshing soft drinks. Popcorn. Ice cream? Well, that's some treasure, but anyone can buy luscious treats like these at the snack bar. All righty. We are back. And I think Yay! We're Yay! Quick, Yay! Quick, quick break. Okay. There was much rejoicing. There was much Yay! rejoicing there. And um, they uh, have, uh, back in the APC, uh, I'm assuming Chaplin, you... I'm driving. Unless someone tells me, yeah, Chaplin's hopped the wheel, and um, you uh, uh, you um, are headed off. You've got uh, this short bald dude with you that uh, 
uh, is knocked out thanks to chaplains and you're driving, you're just taking off from the uh, police station. So where do we need to get back to? Flaming police station. You, I think we need to get back to uh, Hatfield, don't we? No, he's he says you know. I mean, you're talking to him. He's you know, uh, Silva's going, you know, wake this some bitch well, up. Well, considering see what he knows. No, Hatfield said don't come back until you got the Marines. Considering the shit that just happened, and this dude is complaining about gut pain, and we're at the Marshall Station. Why don't we go to the San Rocco Medical Facility? <laughs> there he is. Uh, okay. Which so, is very close to us. If you, Where y'all are at, you know that you should be headed toward... You can. Uh, uh, what did I... Oh, I grabbed the wrong mouse. <laughs> okay. Um, I sent y'all the map. But let's minimize. <clears throat> and you'll notice that, yes, that the... Say going kind of north, but really more east into District East, is uh, a medical facility. All right, we heading there. Uh, I mean, yep. so yeah, so I mean, but who is this guy? Wake his ass up! I mean, we need to know before they put if there's something wrong with him, put him under at the hospital. Let's uh, see what he knows. <laughs> Break out the salts. <laughs> I'm just saying, I got a cutting torch and he's got feet. We can find <laughs> some answers. <laughs> I'm waiting for what y'all are doing. Chapel okay, driving. we'll, we'll try and try and wake him up. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh oh, I just lost somebody. Uh, 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 thought that was me. I accidentally hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, give yourself, give yourself a second, then you pop back in. It's, Goddamn, it's, Chaplin went offline. While I know, was Chaplin, Chaplin was driving. I'll say, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll try and. I'll this try is and, becoming a theme for you. You close the map. Wake up, Bezos. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay. Hey, like, how are you feeling? Yeah, you can slap him awake, and I. Uh, hey. What the hell is? Where am I? What are you guys doing? You've got no right to hold me like this. What is going you're on? You're going to answer. You're going to answer some questions for us. What do you mean I'm <laughs> answering questions for you? What? Well, you see that savage over there? His name is Hammer. And I don't even want to describe the things he's going to do to you if you don't answer our questions. Man, come on. I it was a, all I was involves. A, man, I'm just it, like, yeah, I'm a, I was a former Marine. Look, I got a tattoo on my arm. And you could, you know. Yeah, I, I'm going to cut that off and put it on my wall. <laughs> put, where are the other three that I, you met up with? yesterday i do not know what do you mean met with what are you talking about okay so i'm gonna start cutting off fingers so are you right or left-handed <laughs> what the hell is going on this is unfair tell me, tell me where the marines are that you met with yesterday we've got video i do not know every I do bit of not know Hey, okay. You might not you might not know where they are, but why did you meet up with them? Good question. <laughs> Manipulation. Roll who's ever asking. Is there an uh, assist option? No, there's not. Damn it. Oh, can shit. I can I assist anybody oh. by stabbing the guy in the leg? I know how to assist. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I just want to stab the guy in the leg. <laughs> And there is literally no one stopping you from doing that. No, Silva's, yeah, Silva's, no, he's not. He's letting y'all do your thing. Really? So, what? Well, right, I'm going to stab him in the leg. You make me a close combat roll. Yeah, I will. Listen here, you might want to start answering questions because. Uh, uh, knife goes in. Ma! God damn I, I, yeah, I, I bet that hurts. You I'm just no. going to light the torch and I'm going to put my hand over my camera. <laughs> I'm going to say, do you want to answer anything now? I turn my camera off. He yells out and all that. He just, he goes, all right, I stop. I work. I'm, I'm with the UPP now. Fine. Whatever. They were, they wanted to come over to our side and meet with our leader here. And I was going to arrange a meeting, but they didn't all want to come. 
One of them wanted to go back to the compound. I think it was right. Oh, wanted to. You she, see, now was that so hard? You couldn't have just led with that. Get that fucking knife out of my leg. Uh, I'll pull it up, but I'm going to twist it a little bit before I do. Ah! <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Which call me? <laughs> you heard me. Just stab his other leg. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> we are headed to the medical facility. Yeah, I need now, a doctor, you think? Now we can take the long way or we can take the short <laughs> way. Oh my god. You, now, you now is know. it is it common knowledge that this dude was uh griping about, you know, the heartburn, stomach pain and all that kind of crap? He, he said he had an, loud well, he's loud enough and you can you can re, you all can relate to each other and he said he had an ulcer. Oh, it's like I look over to uh to Dante and it's like Eh, chances are he, it won't really matter, but eh, we'll see. So you you were talking about I'll I'll turn the torch off. And see, so you were talking about your stomach hurting, and uh, you you were telling us that you have an ulcer. I have a little bit of you know triage emergency care. Uh, does it hurt here? And I'll poke him in his gut. Oh yeah, he yeah he. God, you know, and he, and he, a little blood. What else would you face. like to tell me about the Marines? That's all I fucking know. We were going to, I was going to meet him back here and take him to meet the leader, but they didn't want to go. They said they had to talk it over. So I was going to come back. The, who were you guys going to meet? He's the leader. His name's Botus. 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 Uh, how do we find this Botus? His name was Bocephus? I, yeah. <laughs> Botus. Yeah. Uh, God, his, his parents must have hated him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're yeah. five minutes out from the medical facility. Get me, or, get me, or 15. Give me some help. Get me some. This could be the longest five minutes of your short. I told you. I told you what you wanted to know. Where do we meet? Where do we find? He's somewhere up in the refinery area, I think. Where you you better think. I don't know. You go up there and they let you. I don't know. I don't know his position all the time. I just know we take him up to the refinery area. Very interesting attitude with a guy that has a knife in his leg. I can (laughs) only tell you. I don't know. Fuck off, then. If that's you know, he says if that's where, all you want to know, twist, then fuck off. Where? Twist. Where at the no, he's refinery screaming. area? He's where just, at the he refinery screams. area? He he passes out. Y'all popped him too much. I'm Dump him. Some st- smelling salts. Dump him. Where? Open the door and pitch him out. <laughs> no, that's not going to be a bad idea. Anything. He's not going to see anything else. No, he's done. You pump them out, and you actually run over them when you dump them out. He, he, he catches he catches underneath the deal, and you're boom, boom. God damn, Chaplin, why can't you watch where you're going, man? Dude, this was going so well until you run them over. Man. Sorry, guys. I had nothing to do with that one. That was not on me. Okay, well, uh... I guess we're going to the refinery district. <laughs> Do we have any other? I don't, that's the... the only place we can go. Yeah. I mean, that's our only so, lead. No. We can't get him. So no point said, going to the medical center now. We murder. Oh, yeah. We murder. <laughs> take a left, guys, so we can't ask him any more questions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I kind of got a little splinter when I stabbed him. I <laughs> so, so Bezos did say that. Uh, Wright may have gone back to the fort. Back to the compound. Back to the compound. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to see here. Uh, hmm. Let me see. What What's the whisper thing? Yeah. Yes. How yes. Do, <laughs> how, do we, how do we do it? Front, yeah. front slash W and then the character's yeah. name. Yeah. Just lower your voice. <laughs> Run really, really fast. 
Uh-huh. Yep. Uh. Bing. <laughs> so hold on a second here. Uh, so, let's see, y'all are, well, y'all were headed, y'all are about uh, five minutes, yeah, you're five minutes from the medical center, and you look on the map, if you've got it all in front of y'all, let me make, just share it to you. Uh... You know, a long drive up toward the oil refinery area. We we need to stop at the medical facility just for a minute. I got to go poo. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go make boom boom. I got to. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you look over to Dante's got a little. Dante's, Dante uh, is a little white faced. I, I got to I gotta off port some. That beer was not good. Okay. Is that, what are, what does the rest of the group want to do? Hey, Silva, we got to make a shit stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right. So y'all pull up toward yep. the <laughs> uh, medical facility. Let me bring this up. It's a small little facility. You can tell, you know, not even a single story. Uh, it, um, uh, you know, you see, a, you cut, you do see some lights. And a few movements kind of going on in the window areas. Uh, there's some people inside. Uh, it is late. Uh, outside, standing, where did I just... Hold on a second. Um, I don't need the carrier. I just... Uh, in the freezing cold, right outside in the porch areas, y'all pull up. You know, Chaplin pulls the APC up, and y'all are standing at it, and... Iola, Io, Iona hits the button. The cold air fries in. There is a dude um, standing out on the porch of the hospital, basically praising God. He's got, you know, he says, Heed his word. The apocalypse is on us. The devils walk among us. And he's got. Get out of my way, hippie. I got to take he goes, a shit. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the devils are inside here. Yeah, I've seen you're them. See one in about thirty seconds. <laughs> uh, he goes. Would you let me read from the Book of Morse? <laughs> I need that to wipe with. Come on, let me get past you. Okay? Is it in, is it in code? <laughs> We're about to see an exorcism if you don't get out of yeah. <laughs> I'm about ready to get rid of a whole bunch of demons. <laughs> so yeah, y'all push through and he goes, they're inside. They're no. going. Okay. <laughs> We're trying <laughs> to get them out. <laughs> don't he stop. He's holding you, Dante. Out. He goes, Don't go inside there. You'll all die. I have seen the good. devils. You are gonna see some <laughs> devils here in about now 20 seconds. Then there's, and you can see and I will I will push him out of the way as I am a burly young lady. <laughs> no, stop. So yeah, so give me a give me a close combat roll as you try to I'm gonna It's just I'm trying to stop you. Don't go in there. Ass. I'll save oh, you. All my dice froze. I've seen others like you before. They didn't want to be saved either. There we go. You push him out oh, of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm a hip push this fucker and get Others out like you are in there. Death follows you as it follows them. It's because we all drink at the same bar. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor that Tuesday did not. Is set where well. we'll hold for the night. <laughs> So, oh, you're not even done. gonna let me hit the. Toilet? I'm not oh! gonna let you. You're gonna have to hold it. <laughs> you're gonna have to hold that. You're gonna have to hold it for seven days. I'm, I'm uh, doing the clench shuffle, trying to get into the medical facility. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. I gotta yes. go. I gotta go. Gotta, 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 gotta. We are gonna hold right there. A little early, but yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna get into the next part here. As yeah, because you... honestly, how can you top that ending? <laughs> yeah. No, you can't. You can't. So uh, I won't try. Talk about a cliffhanger, huh? <laughs> oh. Something's hanging. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Folks, yo. 
You can't it's prairie this. dog and look out it's prairie yeah. dog <laughs> that's right all right yes we I will hold right, out of me we'll hold right there for the night uh and pick this back up next tuesday uh but next so, wednesday next wednesday. wednesday next wednesday so already uh well what yeah so we're still in act one so for the rest of you guys uh skeeter uh will be unable to play with us on was it may the 5th march june the no. 5th June the, it's June the first. June the first. Yeah, I got the days off, so that it's a. God damn! But, just yeah. you and can't just yell out words that it's. <laughs> no, June the first, May the fourth. Okay, you know, December thirty first. It's Christmas Pickle Day. Whatever. The seventeenth. So yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. What the fuck so, are you talking about? So yes, if we June. don't finish, and I don't think we're going to be into the, you know, we, we're still in Act One right now. Uh, then, um, yeah, if destroyer we, takes longer than yeah, destroyer is going to take longer. Um, so what just kind of playing on that is that we'll hold that night and we won't play that week. So, uh, we'll, we'll try to keep it, you know, moving forward, uh, and keep Sorry, the action here, to but go to a game convention. Yeah. He's got to come down to my, he's got to come down to my backyard. So, yeah, um, so, uh, North Texas. Yeah. I am North, uncomfortable North Texas, when you yeah. say, uh, nice. your backyard. Be. I didn't say back door. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Hey, 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 I, I heard the Peter, make, make sure you give uh, Mike and Bill a bunch of uh, shit. Yeah. We will. Oh, okay. 100%. Yeah. My man. Okay. So that's just, but just put that in your calendar. It's the rest of you Yahoo Hooligans is that uh, we'll probably miss that show. So we'll run a little bit longer than we thought about. Hopefully that doesn't mess everybody up. Uh, no, that works good for me because I'm actually on vacation that week. So, okay. Then good. We'll have that Perfect. week off. Uh, See, but, I'm a helper. There you go. <laughs> Team okay. player right there. Team player. Uh, good job so far, uh, I can say. Uh, you, we had almost, <laughs> so it was close, <laughs> so close to death already. Uh, but there's so much more to give in this module. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how my toilet experience goes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night uh, for episode one of Chariot of the Gods here on the channel. Uh, and wait. then... Uh, Saturday and I night. promise not to watch it. Yeah, you don't promise. <laughs> yeah, you can't watch it if you haven't played it. Uh, and then right. we're back Saturday night with the ladies uh, for Rise Up Against the Slave Lords, our Greyhawk Slave Lords uh, 1E module that's basically we converted for 5E. So that's it, gents. You got anything planned for Friday? Uh, we'll probably be... Well, you know what? We, if you're gonna be, we may stream a few of us playing Minecraft, put it all together. Maybe we'll just get a few of us playing and we'll stream in a stream squad, set up the four shows and put them all together on one channel um, works for me do something like that we'll plan yeah, that i'd out. love to do that if i could ever get on the goddamn thing it's well it takes five seconds you dodo head if you can't get on you shouldn't be you shouldn't be playing minecraft then possibly so man you know i should what? i should get my son set up with you guys you should he come he it. if he likes to die a lot it's it's hearted modded survival yeah so, it's oh you'd insanity. be surprised that kid is a wizard so, um, all right, we're going to call it there. We're running our outro. Right. Thanks, gentlemen. Good job, as always. Uh, and we'll be back Thank here you, next everybody. week. Thank you, everybody. We'll see y'all later. Bye, buddy.